and we're live what's happening gamers and welcome to the conversations channel and welcome to this playstation 5 deep dive architecture reveal with mark cerny so guys today is the day after so much waiting after so much painstaking wait of just staring at our computers refresh 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 on the playstation twitter page finally we are going to be getting some information regarding the playstation 5 Five. Today's uh, stream is going to be a reaction and watch along to whatever they're going to be showing. Uh, apparently, it's going to be a deep dive into the system architecture with system architect architecture designer Mark Cerny. And hopefully, we're going to get some really, really cool information because Xbox has been dropping all kinds of information, all kinds of massive numbers showing off a really, really cool system. I'm hoping PlayStation have got something to back that up. Really, honestly, hopefully this is going to be fantastic guys if you're watching this after the fact don't worry we do these kind of streams all the time you guys can watch this stream along after the fact and uh, afterwards i'll be putting a time code when the stream actually starts but if you want to hang out and chill for the for the half an hour before the stream as well to catch up on all the banter that we have we are gonna be right here for you guys Everybody, what's happening? Thank you so much for swinging by. Um, I am uh, one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro with the... Oh, he's not here. Yeah, Sheps is um, Sheps is on his way. Sheps is on his way. He's uh, he's caught up a little bit. He's definitely going to be with us very soon. So don't worry about that. That's going to be happening soon. Um, oh, thank you so much, Mario. First of all, I just got to say thank you so much, so much to all of our, our super bros over on patreon.com forward slash combo stations one second uh google docs i'm just gonna get those names up right now because i'm professional obviously the tech issues threw me right off so i'm gonna you know have to worry about that right now um i did it got my uh, number names right here da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, our super bros who support us over at patreon.com forward slash conversations. We have Casper, uh, Record Friction, Diogo Doggo, uh, Saki the one and only, Comrade Conrad, and Dan the Man. Thank you, bros, so much for keeping the lights, the mics, and the gaming going. That's right, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed the stream. We're going to be having a banger, I feel like. I feel like we're going to be getting some awesome, awesome uh information uh as zaheer saying in there knack three definitely what we need definitely what we need <laughs> madrox as well as that like, patreon.com forward slash conversations that's right i would just want to say thank you so much everybody for joining me for this stream thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hear what we have to say in regards to all this playstation 5 news i hope it's amazing if you're new around here as well consider hitting that subscribe button and everybody in the chat smash that like button as you do for all of those uh, famous youtubers out there who have millions of subscribers just like us just like us right there <laughs> i also want to say thank you as well to all of the four pillars guys james tyler uh, uh fishy uh george even though he's a cunt um all of you guys out there for shouting us out, by the way, and all of you guys in the community as well. Mario as well put this up in the uh, Four Pillars community. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so, so much. What's happening, Cass? What's happening, everybody? Oh, we got so many of the gamers here today. So many of the gamers. Thank you all for swinging by and being epic bros. So, guys, in the chat, I want you all to know, <laughs> thanks to coronavirus, I can watch this stream. <laughs> They're up, your foot, you're so cool. Um, welcome, Katie, man. Welcome, Katie, Cass, Madrock, uh, Adam, so Alex, Alex, sorry, uh, Zahir, D. Oh, you guys are all so cool. Super Bleach. Oh, what's happening, man? Sheps is sprinting to Eddie. That's right. Okay, before we get going, guys, while we've got this a uh, bit of a uh, uh, discussion that we're going to have at the beginning, let me know what do you think we're going to be seeing today and. Do you think today's going to be a big one? Do you think it's going to be a good? Do you think it's going to be a bust? PlayStation has been very weird. And I feel like because of all of the silence, I feel like it pretty much has to be amazing. I, I don't want to, I kind of, I don't want to say that, you know, we're being jumping ahead of ourselves. But I feel like they have to be, right? I feel like they have to be. Oh, man. I'm expecting a lot of ray tracing talk, uh, a lot of cores talk, a lot of uh, unified GPU memory. I'm expecting a lot of that from Mark and He's a really cool guy and uh, really uh, dumbs it down for us. Yo, Kimo Sabi Gamer Cream Pie. That's right. 
Toby is here, ladies and gents. Gaming, gaming, gaming. Life of Black Tiger 2, Max. Wait. Eddie, I think we'll see the PS5, just a guess. Mr. Shen, I'm going to go out there and say pretty much the same thing to you. Because I have a theory. I have a theory that they're going to show off all this stuff, talk about the system architecture, and be like, oh, yay, this is really cool. But I, what I think they're going to do is they're going to go, and by the way, guys, final mic drop, one more thing, here it is. And they're going to show off the PS5, hopefully. I just realized I got my t-shirt hanging here. You guys obviously you know Spider-Man PS4, gotta love that. Gotta have a conversations Eddie as well, that's all we need right there. Pop to the side. And of course I've got my console master race t-shirt on. Who doesn't love that? Who doesn't love that? Yo, Cass, thank you, my man. Thank you for that two euro donation. You, my friend, are a certified super bro. You are helping keeping the lights, the mics on, and the gaming going. Um, if any of you guys also, just as a word and what, you don't have to do this. You can totally donate in any way, shape, or form that you want. It helps us out greatly. But if you guys are planning to donate, YouTube and Apple and Google and stuff like that, they take a lot of, of, of the cut of the money that you guys send. It would help us out even more if you guys could head over to Patreon. Th there you can edit your pledge and add more to a current pledge that you guys have or add a custom pledge and whatnot. That we that is where we get most of the, the donations that you guys give. That would help us out the most. But that's just for you guys to know. You can do whatever you like and we are happy no matter what. Backwards compatibility I saw just there. That dude, yes, I am hoping for that. If they say that we can get backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. Oh my god, do you know how much Die Hard, uh, uh, Die Hard Trilogy I'm going to be playing for the PS1? Do you know? <laughs> Eddie, do you think they could tease the Game Boy Girl? <laughs> Katie right there. Katie right there with the epic sweeps right there. The gaming sweeps. Epic t-shirt. Why, thank you, Alex. Thank you, sir. Damn Eddie Thick. Oh, am I, I, have, I have been eating a little bit. I have been eating a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to the gym, so I'm, I'm, getting the, I'm getting the old muscles back as well. I just need to get my diet on control as well and get back to it. Get back to it. Eddie, can you do a review of the Stormtrooper helmet in the back? Why, yes, I can. Oh, he took the glasses off. Here we go. All right, now, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, it's difficult to put the glass, it's impossible to put the glasses on, in fact. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to see out of this thing. I can understand now why they're such terrible shots. Um, so this is something, yeah. Uh, I don't think that this is gonna be the way to watch the, uh, the PlayStation 5 detail review anyway. I don't think that's gonna work. So that's my review, uh, two out of 10. <laughs> Coolness factor though. Coolness factor. You gotta add into that. Yo. When does the presentation start? Ask Mark. Mark. Um, it starts at four o'clock, so half an hour from now. Uh, we're having a little pre-stream here, so we can talk about what we think is gonna happen and what we think we're gonna see. Da -da 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 -da. Certified bro, no doubt. Nirok, do you want me to ban you for saying that? Do you want me to ban you for saying that? <laughs> Mario, no girls, gamers are men. That's right. Even if you're a girl, you're a man. If you're a gamer, you're a man. You're a man? That don't make no sense. There we go. I hope we get the controller. I like... Uh, this is Super Bleach. I hope we get the controller. And I hope it's like the Xbox controller. Oh, you want the offset sticks? Ah, get out of here, Super Bleach. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. Mardox is like, as long as it doesn't sound like a fucking jet engine, I'm all right. <laughs> I expect a lot of techno talk that I don't understand. Sam, I'm with you on that one, but Mark Sony is very, very good at dumbing it down for us. He's very, very good at that. Cass, I want that t-shirt. Eddie sent me uh, sent me a link. Uh, what's that? I want that t-shirt. Eddie sent me a link. Oh, you, the, the link I sent to you. Yes. What's happening, Jack? Welcome to the stream. Way, what's happening, lasers? Lasers is here to give you another AC3 video. Uh, leave a like down below and you get to see a bit of that. You get to see a bit of that. Just checking on settings over here. Properties. Nope, that's not the one. I'm looking for filters. Ah, I keep hitting the same one. 
Damn you, bitch. All right, it's the third time now. There we go. All right. Cool, we're done. Yeah, no glasses on the Stormtrooper helmet. Visually impaired Stormtroopers aren't allowed. That's right, that's right. I mean, even... So what it is, what you're trying to tell me is that they don't allow visually impaired Stormtroopers, but then they visually impaired them by putting on that terrible helmet. That's what you're telling me. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah. If we went full backwards compatibility, I would cream pie my underwear, says Kimo Sabi Gamer. Kimo Sabi Gamer just cream pie in everywhere. Uh... Universal Big Man says, wish list, uh, sorry, whilst, my apologies, can't read at all. Uh, whilst you're at it, Eddie, you can tell us the, your, of your experience as ED69, the Stormtrooper. Well, my experiences are, are as follows. Awesome, because I am in the Stormtrooper outfit right there. Virtue, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Way, welcome, Fishy. How's it going, my boy? How's it going? I reckon we'll get some tasty bits. Yes, I think I like the sound of that. Thank you, everybody, by the way, for joining us. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here in this stream. I hope it's an amazing one. Just for those of you guys that are new uh, joining the stream, we're going to be watching the PlayStation 5 detail uh, deep dive architecture review. Hopefully, we'll get some information about what is going to be happening with this game. And also... Oh, sorry, this get this console, and maybe possibly we'll get a reveal at the end. Oh, my I have a sneaky suspicion of two things. One, they're gonna show off either the next uh, Horizon or tease the next God of War game in this, showing like a tech demo or something. And I think right at the end they'll reveal the console, sort of a mic drop moment. They'll be like, "And one more thing, guys." <laughs> What's happening anyway that's going to be happening in about 26 minutes i hope you guys are ready for that let me know in the comment section what you guys uh think is going to be shown off here what you're most excited for and uh, we'll get this stream going and if you're new around here guys consider subscribing it's an awesome place filled with bros filled with gamers and uh yeah we'll see you guys soon yeah way ollie how's it going my man jesus christ there's a lot of people thank you again four pillars guys for sending so many people over here you guys are all all fucking fantastic fantastic people over here jesus christ 37 people Woo! there's a there's a lot of bros here there's a lot of bros here today as i said as well to those guys sheps will be coming he will be joining us for the stream he's gonna be plunked right down here next to me uh and we're gonna watch it all together um ba -ba -ba. he's just on his way he's just being held up somewhere he's probably gonna make it for around about four o'clock that's what we're hoping for <coughs> coronavirus has got me James, what did you do? <coughs> Fucking lasers! Uh, okay, whew, I got over that. It's okay. Backwards compatibility up to PS1 and even PSP. Ooh, that would be a feat, wouldn't it? Virtue, future, that would be that would be a feat. By the way, future, I just remembered. I re I remember your name, dude. Where have you been? Be honest with yourselves. You don't want to play PS1 and PS2 games. <laughs> Dan, you know what? You've nailed it. We might be saying right here, we might be thinking to ourselves, guys, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, how cool would it be to play those games? I guarantee you, they'll give us backwards compatibility and we'll look at it and we'll be like, ooh, ah, Simpsons Hit and Run doesn't look that great anymore, you know? I mean, whoo. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. It's... It's a, a real possibility, but everyone is talking about it right right now. It would be a pro-consumer move. That's the only reason why I see them doing it. Raman sells laser strikes again. That's right. Where is Sheps? Sheps, all right. Fuck that. Fuck Sheps. That's right. There we go. Jess has got it going. In. Hashtag fuck Sheps. That's right. Give me PS Vita games on PS5. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lasers got me again. Could you imagine PS? P sorry, PS Vita games running on PS5. Just those blocky graphics running at like 400 frames a second. God, who even is Cass? Oh. Uh, I might go get myself a drink in a second because I think that's why I'm coughing. I'm talking a lot and uh, yeah. Olio says, Curveball for Rocksteady's next project because Sony treat their devs well. Ah, okay, all right, okay. That's another thing as well. There might be the reason why we might not have heard anything from Rocksteady and their like 
and the uh, WB Montreal and whatnot with that Batman game. It's because maybe they're planning to do something with Sony. But then again, why would they have started teasing it so fucking far out? Like, people wouldn't have been excited for a Batman game, right? I mean, it's no Superman game. I I'll tell you that right now. It's no Superman game, which would blow the roof off of every, every goddamn house here. And including this gamer... Let me know in the chat, guys. Superman game or nothing. Say it. Hashtag Superman game or nothing. Fuck Last of Us 2. But yeah. Lasers is the super spreader. That's what he is. Way Kimo Sabe Gamer. Thank you, my bro, so much for that donation. You're keeping the lights, the mics on, and the gaming going, my brother. You are fantastic. Thank you so, so much for doing that. Um... Just again, a quick word again about uh, heading over to our Patreon as well, if you guys fancy it. In the description, there's a couple of links to our Discord server, to our Patreon. If you want to consider supporting us, it's totally up to you. That's completely your choice. Some exclusive stuff over there in early access. Um, and also our merch store as well, where you get to get t-shirts like this. That's right. It's the console master race, my guys. And also uh, the fuck Eddie t-shirt and fuck Shep's t-shirt. Obviously, obviously. The Teraflops debate will finally end. That's right. <clears throat> How many of you guys are... I was like, Eddie, maybe don't die before the PS5 gets revealed. At least the thing is that uh, if I don't hit the button for, for it to switch over to the web page where they're going to be viewing it, where they're going to be showing it, then it's going to be really bad. Because then you guys don't get to see shit. <laughs> Let's get the uh, the page up. No, not PlayStation Experience. That's weird. For some reason, it auto-completed to that. Da -da 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 -da. All right, let's go to PlayStation. <clears throat> PlayStation Blog. See, it says PlayStation Blog, but there's no, like... There's no actual blog post. There's no video set up there i guess we have to wait until we're closer to the time i guess i don't know Brr, i don't know where this is gonna be we'll see we'll see all right hashtag screw diogo from chemo sabi gamer thank you so much bro sony about to troll us with the early april fools <laughs> have you <to> <laughs> that's totally true bro uh what did chemo sabi say there hold on a second Hey, we ha all have our own opinions. Uh, don't like Naruto. Oh, I see. It's an anime thing. No problem. No problem. Superman is a sick character. That's right, Ollie. That's my man right there. This guy knows what he's talking about. This guy knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Flash game or nothing. Eddie, what do you think of Superman Red Sun? Do you know what, bro? Do you know what? Do you think I've had five fucking minutes to watch it? Do you think I've had five minutes? All I did was get it out and I got the action figure out, the figurine, and I was like sweet sweet i've got myself superman red sun i'm gonna be like yes this is gonna be a day hadn't had time to watch it haven't had five minutes to fucking watch it i've been coronavirus proofing my house <laughs> oh man you just want to see ps1 hagrid says katie <laughs> adita welcome to the stream you want me well i want you too <laughs> Eddie, check the link in Discord. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> JB, my man, how's it going? Uh, <clears throat> let me check announcements. I've got that. Thank you. Gaming chat. Ah, thank you so much, uh, Zahir, for that link. There we are. So it is actually a live stream that they're going to be doing. That is fucking fantastic. Thank you so much. Because when I click the link on the uh, the Twitter page, it's nothing. It's nothing right there. <clears throat> All right. We have the stream ready. Let me just show you how things are going to look right here. The watch along is going to be like this. I'm going to maximize the screen so we get the full effect right here. And you also get to see us as well. While I'm in this uh, page, I'm going to I'm going to check out the uh, audio capture as well. Soundflower channel 2. <clears throat> line in. 
Oh my god, my neck. My neck. My back. Lick my and my crack. Default system input to Soundflower Channel 2. <clears throat> um that didn't work. Alright. Soundflower channel two. Play three. Safari. I don't need you. For some reason, Safari quit. Nope, I don't need that. Sorry for the, the loud noises, guys. I'm just trying to sort something out. One minute, one minute. <clears throat> uh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch it around. Soundflower channel 2. All right. Channel 2. Sorry about this tech stuff. Default system output. <clears throat> now, if I play something, it should. Just going to head over to YouTube's. YouTubes. Uh, random video. Okay, that's working. Good. We've got that set up. Thank you so much for sticking with me through that, ladies and gents. Peek behind the curtain of how things work. <laughs> Thank you so much as well, Zaheer, for that uh, that link right there that helped me out. Ah, oh, fuck, Tom. There we go. James uses low latency settings. Do you know what? I do... I don't use low latency settings just because... And also, I've been reading back on the comments. I didn't want to miss too many of them. Um, so, for example, the latest one I've got here says, "I've uh, Katie, you're the best stray. You're the best stray? Shake my head. And uh, But will scream for another un Uncharted or something, says Cass. I go back on some of the comments right there just so I make sure everyone's included and stuff like that. But 15 minutes, guys, until we get this uh, reveal going. How's everybody feeling? I'm back now. We've got everything going. Your fucking lesson ends at four. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Katie, you need to rush home. You need to rush home. Do it. <clears throat> hey, Mala. How's it going, my man? Conversation. So, uh, Adita says, apparently this video is 52 minutes long. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. All right, I'm going to quickly share this video as well. All right. Come and join the gamers. Come and join the... I can't spell. <laughs> the gamers live. I bet that's no surprise to all of the bros here. There we go. Come and join the gamers live. There we are. Eddie does seem to be illiterate, but that's part of the charm, isn't it? Isn't it? That is part of the charm. Hey, Frank, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, my brother. Welcome to the stream. Freaking hype. That is right. That is really right. That trip home better be speedy. For sure, Katie. Listen to us. <laughs> listen, guys, listen. I do this because it's comedy, not because I'm an idiot. Maybe a little bit because I'm an idiot. But, you know, you know. All right, okay, we know. <laughs> Surely whilst we're waiting, you need to have a quick karaoke session. <laughs> Max, send me a request and I'll do something. Send me something funny and I'll do it. For those of you guys that are new around here and don't know, one time I got stuck in traffic on the M25 <clears throat> and I did a live stream from my phone. And I live streamed the whole thing and I was entertaining and stuff like that. And I was taking requests for singing. Oh, the camera's gone off for a sec. There we are. We're back. We are indeed back. Every now and again, that might happen. Just so you guys know. Part of the charm of conversations. Just so you know. Yeah. Any clue in regards to the kind of content? No, we don't know what's going to happen yet. All we know is that Mark Cerny is going to be doing uh, a deep dive into the system architecture of of the the playstation 5 that's all we know so far should still be fun but we'll see but we'll see seems like everyone's getting into the youtube mood that's right that's right boys boys oh yes boys sing along <laughs> 
Do you know what song I can't get out of my head? And Zaheer's gonna love this one. I can't get the theme tune for My Hero Academia, the first half intro. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's stuck in my head. Diogo, where's it going, my bro? Hey, bros, just sat in my car, infuriated at my mum's stupid mentality over buying tons of food and wanting it all... Wanting to go all the ships. All the shops, I see, okay. What the fuck? Is your mum like those mums that are buying tons of toilet paper and bread and milk and stuff like that? That's going to expire in like three days. JB, let's hope the PS5 isn't as buggy as Combro Stations. I mean, can anything get to this level? Can anything get to this level? I didn't think so. <laughs> We're a special person. Jazz says, Mark Senny is great, but he does make me fall asleep. Oh, that's unfortunate because I really like his, uh, his way of expl explaining things. It's just that good, Eddie. It's just that good. I know. I know, man. It's that guitar. It's like... That's right. Screw Diogo. Fuck him in the ass. Fuck him in the ass. No toilet roll. Just So hold on a minute. Your problem was with the toilet roll, the thing that can't expire. Everything else, though, like milk, bread, totally fine, right? <laughs> Frank, thank you so, so much, but you're blind. <laughs> you're a sexy motherfucker too. EA gets to, gets to your level, Eddie. Oh boy, oh boy. Fishy says, my mother's immune system is suppressed right now, so she can't panic by shit. I cough and I'd cough on it. Oh, I see. Oh shit. <laughs> if she tried to panic by anything, you'd cough on her. <laughs> That's such a dark humor that I love. Fucking hell, Ethan, man. You're so funny. <laughs> so it's even your mum. I'd cough on her if she was to do anything stupid like that. Fucking, fucking. Okay, BRB can't change the quality of the stream. What the fuck? Diogo, you might be because it's on a... If you're using cellular, it might be locked to a certain level. Hopefully it's good. By the way, does the audio and everything sound good like that? Should I turn it down a little bit? Because you guys know me. I have a Kimosabi cream pie moment every now and again where I just, I yell. So let me know. Yeah. Oh, people are, I think people are giving, giving, are people giving um bets on, yeah, extreme gamers. So how many teraflops everyone thinks? Cass says 11.2. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Do you know what? I think it's going to be a smidge under 12. I think it's going to be a smidge under 12. Um, actually, do you know what? That rumor that came out that there might be two PS4s seems such bullshit. But then there was the idea that... But then there was those rumors of multiple uh, teraflops coming out. One was like saying nine teraflops. Another one was saying 14. Oh, God, it's so mad. Oh, God, I can't... I'm not going to be disappointed, though. <clears throat> Anything more than 10 teraflops is going to be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And with the engineers and the developers that they have on the Sony exclusive games, it's going to look fucking fantastic. People are saying 13 teraflops. I saw 13.3. 1,000 teraflops to the man, Mr. Shen over there in the back. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Can I hear 2,000? Can I hear 2,000 teraflops? Anyone out there? Anyone? No? Going once? Going twice, sold to Mr. Shen. Thank you very much. <laughs> da Silva says 50 teraflops. I might be slightly out of it. <laughs> Diogo. Yes, Diogo. Yes. 1.8 teraflops. Anything more than that is just showing off, really. It's like your penis. Anything more than 1.8 inches, showing off. Yeah. Any, I mean... The ladies in the chat, the ladies in the chat, make yourself known. Ah, oh, my ladies, ah, oh, my ladies. Um, let us know. You don't need more than 1.8, right? Right? Confirm that for us right here so us gamers can, can rest our minds and get back to gaming. Anything more than 1.8 inches is just... In fact, it's greedy if girls want more than 1.8 inches. It's greedy. I just... I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know. It's just too much, too much. <laughs> Cass came in and Igor came in afterwards with 4,000 and 3,500 respectively, but unfortunately Mr. Shen has won. I'm sorry. Nirok with the 69 teraflops. All right. All right, guys. Seven minutes until this stream gets started. I'm going to go check on where Sheps is and I'm going to go get a drink. I'll be right back, guys. 
talk among me, uh, talk amongst yourselves, and be awesome, all right? I'm coming right back. Oh, so people are guessing what uh, what the price of the console will be. People are saying around about four fifty. I'm seeing here four fifty to five hundred dollars. That is around about our guess as well. We started from the beginning saying it has to be five hundred, right? Five hundred. It has to be. It's the, anything. It, there's no way they'll get it less than that. I don't know. I don't know, man. Mm. We've got the game of fuel right here and also picked up a bunch of mini rolls you know legit and the best dorito chili heat wave not a sponsor <laughs> all right guys we are nearly here if the stream disappoints can you please break harley quinn over there <laughs> You guys want me to break her like I did a Captain Marvel poster, right? Captain Marvel boke me, bro. Captain Marvel boke me. Chili Heat Wave Doritos is life. That's right, Jack. <clears throat> All right, guys, we've got four minutes left. Just before we get started, there's going to be a little post stream afterwards where we discuss everything that goes on. And on top of that, Tomorrow, we are going to be recording a special episode of the True Gamer Podcast. For those of you guys that don't know what that is, you guys should go check that out. This will be our second episode. We started it uh, two weeks ago and whatnot. You guys should definitely subscribe to check that out and also look forward to that on Friday or Saturday. One of the days are there. The True Gamer Podcast, where we're going to be going through all of the Xbox specs. We're going to be going all of the information that we see here today in deep detail deep detail with you guys the bros if any of you guys want to send in any questions so you guys can get clarification on anything send it into our discord server by clicking that link in the description so you guys can get your questions read out and so we can answer them for you live on stream i'll be doing all of the research afterwards as well brushing up for you guys to all find out about that hopefully you guys will enjoy that <clears throat> captain marvel broke me that's right sam that is right Cass, I'm drinking Monster Energy like a like a fake gamer. I, well, I, I wouldn't say that about yourself, but it's true. It's true. <laughs> bake me, daddy. Bake me. High quality potato. How's it going? Jesus Christ, there's so many people. Russian Victor. My man, my man. Thank you, everybody, again, by the way, for turning up. It's been really awesome having you all here. Um, also, other things to plug as well. We've got the Conversations podcast. We're going to be doing that next week. We're going to be doing it. We were supposed to have James and Tyler coming over for that. Um, they, they, James is obviously dying from AIDS and coronavirus and whatever, the combination of the two. So we've had to push that to next week. 
but yeah, he's definitely going to be on that next week. And um, oh yeah, check out Movie Club as well, where we're going to be watching Seamless Transition right here. No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Perhaps he's wondering why someone would shoot a man before throwing him out of a plane. <laughs> That's right. We're going to be watching Dark Knight Rises for you guys. I hope you guys will enjoy that. And um, yeah, the YouTube premiere for PlayStation's... Uh, PlayStation 5 is starting in about 60 seconds. Obviously, then there's the two-minute countdown as well. Yeah. Energy drinks are disgusting, Mardox. I, don't, I wouldn't be able to live without energy drinks. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. James is getting boned on two plagues. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone can sound like Bane. No, they can't. No, they can't, Mario. That's my one thing. Impressions are my one thing. Don't take that away from me. Don't take that away from me right there. Perhaps he's wondering why someone would shoot a man before throwing him out of a plane. <laughs> oh, God. I did indeed why someone would shoot a guy before throwing him out of a plane, says uh, uh, Sam Aptonus. <laughs> I love that you're allowing questions from people regardless of Patreon. Unlike certain inferior company. <laughs> All right. Yes, guys. My boys. Sheps isn't here just yet, but he's coming. He's coming. Premiere will become short. Will start shortly. There's going to be the two-minute countdown. When that starts, I will start this. All right. He says he's on his way. He says he's on his way, but we will get this show going straight away. As soon as we can. Oh shit! Yeah, we're we're six uh six likes away from fifty. We got fifty three people here. Come on, guys, let's see if we can get to that magic fifty number. This will actually be our first ever live stream with fifty likes while we're doing the live stream. Anyway, this is pretty amazing. Thank you again, all of the guys who've been sharing it and and liking and and talking everything. You guys have all been so fucking cool. I love you guys to bits. All right, the premiere is starting, ladies and gents. Let's move to the watch along. Just a second, bros. Just a second. So that's what it's going to look like for you guys. Yeah. All right. I'm just working on the audio. That's cool. Okay. You guys can all hear the, uh, the audio, yeah? Let me know if the... Audio sounds good for you guys. Let me know from now, because I just adjusted the audio. Everything should sound good. Let me know from now, yeah? All right, guys. All right. Gamers are gaming. I'm fucking excited, guys. I am fucking excited. I'm gonna get the noisy stuff out of the way now so we can we can chill. Woo! Here we go. Yeah, you hear the audio? Awesome, awesome. Ugh. Videos videos good? Audio's good? Audio's good now. I turn it all up, guys. I turn it up. Thank you so much for being so awesome. 58 likes! Fucking You guys are killing me here, man. You guys are fucking killing me. I swear to god. <laughs> I love you all. I love you all. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi. Um, unfortunately, we had to cancel the, the talk that we had uh, planned for GDC. Um, but we do have some super exciting news about the PS5. Uh, and who better to bring that to you 
than the one and only Mark Cerny. Without further ado, over to you, Mark. Sheps is on his way. <clears throat> Mark Cerny. Cerny! Lots of chances later on this year to look at the PlayStation 5 games. Today, I want to talk a bit about our goals for the PlayStation 5 hardware and how they influenced the development of the console. I think you all know I'm a big believer in console generations. Once every five or six or seven years, a console arrives with substantially new capabilities. There's a lot of learning by the game developers, hopefully not too overwhelming, and soon there's games that could never have been created before. Now, it used to be that as a console designer, you'd somehow intuit what would be the best set of capabilities for the new console, and then build it in complete secrecy. For the PlayStation consoles, that period lasted through PlayStation 3, a powerful and groundbreaking console, but also one that caused quite a lot of heartache, as it was initially difficult to develop games for. I love how we have to mention so, that So, starting with PS3. PlayStation 4, we've <laughs> taken a different approach, roughly centered around three principles. The first of these is listening to the developers, which is to say that a lot of what we put into a console derives directly from the needs and aspirations of the game creators. We definitely do have some ideas of our own, but at the core of our philosophy for designing consoles is that game players are here for the fantastic games, which is to say that game creators matter. Anything we can do to make life easier for the game creators or help them realize their dreams, we will do. So, about once every two years, I take a tour of the industry. I go to the various developers and publishers, sit down, and discuss how they're doing with the current consoles and what they'd like to see in future consoles. This requires weeks on the road, as reaching the bulk of the game creators involves talking to well over 100 people at something like two dozen publishers and developers. <coughs> and it is incredibly valuable. By the way, the feature most requested by the developers, that was an SSD which we were very happy to put in the hardware, but a lot of problem solving was required. I'll be doing a deep dive on the SSD and surrounding systems later on good, in good. this talk. Good, like good. It's also key to make a generational yeah, the silhouettes while are keeping moving, the console but I think sufficiently fake as well. familiar to game developers. I think about this in terms of balancing evolution and revolution. Now, with PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, the target was a revolution each time with a brand new feature set. That was great in many ways, but time for the developers to get up and running got longer with each console. In the past, I've called this timed triangle. Here's what I had for those three consoles. To be clear, I'm not talking about time to make a game. Developers will be ambitious, and it may take them six years or so to realize their vision. What I'm talking about is that dead time before graphics and other aspects of game development are up and running, and trying to minimize oh, yeah. On the other hand, if we're trying to reduce that dead time to zero, that means the hardware architecture can't change at all. We're handcuffed. We need to judge for each feature what value it adds and whether it's worth the increase in developer time needed to support it. Okay. So with PlayStation 4, we were able to strike a pretty good balance between performance and familiarity. We got required learning back to PlayStation 1 levels. With PS5, the GPU was definitely the area we felt the most tension between adding new features and keeping a familiar programming model. Ultimately, I think we've ended up oh! with something under a month of getting up to speed. Yes. That feels like we're striking about the right balance. Mm. I'll go into a okay. bit more detail later today it means about our, our launch with game the should GPU be and the specific close to feature amazing. set that resulted from it. It's also very important for us as the hardware team, to find new dreams, by which I mean something other than CPU performance, GPU performance, and the amount Thank you, of Katie. RAM. The increase in graphics performance <laughs> over the past two decades has been astonishing, but there are other areas in which we can innovate and provide significant value to the game creators, and through them, the players. That's why the SSD was very much on our list of directions to explore, regardless of what came out of the conversations with game developers <laughs> and publishers. The biggest feature in this category is the custom engine for audio. That's today's final topic. The push for vastly improved audio, and in particular 3D audio, isn't something that came out of the developer meetings. It's much more the case that we had a dream of what might be possible five years from now, and then worked out a number of steps we could take to set us on that path. So here again are the three principles, the first being enabling the desires of developers to drive the hardware design. <coughs> To me, the SSD really is the key to the next generation. It's a, a game changer. And it was the number one ask from developers for PlayStation 5. 
as in, we know it's probably impossible, but can you put an SSD in it? That was a discussion we were also having internally. It was clear that the presence of a hard drive in every PlayStation 4 was having a positive impact. A lot of things that would simply have been impossible at Blu-ray disk speeds were now possible. At the same time, though, in 2015 and 2016, when we were having these conversations, developers were already banging up against the limits of the hard drive, and a lot of developer time was being spent designing around slow load speeds. I want to focus in on just one number here, which is how long it takes to load a gigabyte of data from a hard drive. The difficulty being that hard drives are neither particularly fast nor flexible. If all your data is in one block, which is frankly 50 megabits not per second. very likely, you can load 50 to 100 megabytes a second, depending on where the data is located on the hard drive. Let's assume it's on the outer edge, which means loading a gigabyte takes 10 seconds. If you compress your game packages, you can fit more data on the Blu-ray disc and also effectively mm -hmm. boost your hard drive read speed by the compression ratio. We support Zlib decompression on PlayStation 4 that gets you something like 50% more data on the disk and 50% higher effective read right. speed. Well, Unfortunately, you... though, it's highly likely that your data is scattered around in various <laughs> files on the hard drive, as well as sourced from multiple locations within those files. So lots yeah. of seeks yeah. are needed at 2 to 50-ish milliseconds each. My rule of thumb is that the hard drive is spending two-thirds of its time seeking and only a third of its time actually loading data. Putting all of that together, a gigabyte is very roughly 20 seconds to load from a hard drive. That's now, a gigabyte is so not much data. Games are using five or six gigabytes of RAM on PlayStation 4, so boot times and load times can get pretty grim. Or to put that differently, as a player, you wait for the game to boot, wait for the game to load, wait for the level to reload every time you die, and you wait for what is euphemistically called fast travel. And all of that leads to the dream. What if we could have not just an SSD, but a blindingly fast SSD? If we could load five gigabytes a second from it, what would change? Everything. Now, SSDs are completely different from hard drives. They don't have seeks as such. If you have a five gigabyte a second SSD, you can read data from a thousand different locations in that second, pretty much at speed. As for mm. time to load a gigabyte, this is next gen we're talking about, SSD. so memory is bigger. Instead, we you should be asking that. how long to load two gigabytes. And the answer is about a quarter of a Ooh! second. I mean, that's amazing. Oh we're my talking God. about two orders of magnitude, meaning very roughly 100 times faster. Two milliseconds. Means five gigabytes a second for the SSD. The potential is that the game boots in a second. There are no load screens. The game just fades down while loading a half dozen gigabytes and fades Fucking back hell. Up. Same for a reload. You're immediately back in the action after you die. And fast travel becomes Jesus. so fast, it's blink and you miss it. As game creators, we go from trying to distract the player from how long fast travel is taking, like those Spider-Man subway rides, to being so blindingly fast that we might even have to slow that transition down. Pretty cool, right? But for me, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. The primary reason for an ultra-fast SSD is that it gives the game designer freedom. Or to put that differently, with a hard drive, the 20 seconds that it takes to load a gigabyte can sabotage the game that the developer is trying to create. Mardok's a good point. SSD is so much more expensive. I think almost all of us in the room have experienced this, maybe in different ways. Say we're making an adventure game, and we have two rich environments where we each want enough textures and models to fill memory. Which you can do as long as you have a long staircase or elevator ride or a windy corridor where you can ditch the old assets and then take 30 seconds or so to load the new assets. Mm -hmm. Having a 30 second elevator ride is a, a little extreme. More realistically, we'd probably chop Hi, the Diogo. world into a we number of smaller pieces and then do some calculations with sight lines and run speeds like we did for Haven City when we were making Jack 2. The game is 20 years old, but not much has changed since then. All those twisty passages are there for a reason. There's a whole subset of level design dedicated to this sort of work, but still, it's a giant distraction for a team that just wants to make their game. So when I talked about the dream of an SSD, part of the reason for that five gigabyte a second target was to eliminate loads, but also part of the reason for that target was streaming. As in, 
What if the SSD is so fast that as the player is turning around, it's possible to load textures for everything behind the player in that split second? If you figure that this it takes it. half a second to turn, that's four gigabytes of compressed data you can load. That sounds about right for next gen. Anyway, back to the hard drive. Mm -hmm. Another strategy for increasing effective read speed is to make big sequential chunks of data. <laughs> for example, we might group all the data together for each city block. That removes most of the seeks, and the streaming gets faster. But there's a downside, too, which is that frequently used data is included in many chunks and therefore is on the hard drive many, many times. Marvel Spider-Man uses this strategy, and though it works very well for increasing the streaming speed, there's a massive duplication as a result. Some of the objects, like mailboxes or news racks, are on the hard drive 400 times. What I'm describing here are things that cramp a creative director's style. Either level design gets a little bit boring in places, or the data is duplicated so many times that it no longer fits on the Blu-ray disc. And you end up with hard limits on the player's run speed or driving speed. The player can't go faster than the load speed from the hard drive. And finally, I'm sure many of you have noticed that after a patch download, the PlayStation 4 will sometimes take a long time to install the patch. Copying. That's because when just part of a file has been changed, the new data can be downloaded pretty quickly. But before the game boots up, a brand new file has to be constructed that includes the changed portion. That's Otherwise, why every change long. would add a seek or two. Even so, you can occasionally see this happening on game titles. They start to hitch once they get patched enough. With an SSD, though, no seeks. So no need to make brand new files with the changes incorporated into them, which means no installs as you know them today. Copying would be gone. There's yet one more benefit, which That's is that amazing. system memory can be used much more efficiently. On PlayStation 4, game data on the hard drive feels very distant and difficult to use. By the time you realize you need a piece of data, it's much too late to go out and load it. So system memory has to contain Chefs all of the data idiot. that could be used in the next 30 seconds or so of gameplay. That means a lot of the 8 gigabytes of system memory is idle. It's just waiting there to be potentially used. On PlayStation 5, though, the SSD is very close 16 to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 Typically confirmed. Fast enough that when you realize you need PlayStation 5, data, you can just load very it from the SSD and use it. Matches There's the Xbox. no need to have lots of data parked in system memory waiting to potentially be used. A different way of saying that is that most of RAM is working on the game's behalf. This is one of the reasons that 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 feels right for PlayStation 5. The presence of the SSD reduces the need for a massive intergenerational increase in size. So back to the dream of the SSD. Here's the set of targets. Boot the game in a second. No load screens. Design freedom, meaning no twisty passages or long corridors. More game on the disk and more game on the SSD. And finally, those patch installs go away. The reality, though, is that the SSD is just one piece of the puzzle. There's a lot of places yes. where bottlenecks can occur in between the SSD and the game code that uses the data. You can the see GDDR this on PlayStation 6, 4. The next if step I use an SSD the with GDDR 10 times we have the, speed the PlayStation. Of a standard hard drive, next I probably see six. only double the loading speed, if that. For <gasps> PlayStation 5, our goal was not just that the SSD itself be 100 times faster, it was that game loads and streaming <laughs> would be 100 Great times faster. What the fuck so is any of this every stuff? single potential bottleneck needed to be addressed. And there are a lot of them. Let's look at check-in and what happens when its overhead gets 100 times larger. Conceptually, check-in is a pretty simple process. Data is loaded into system memory from the hard drive or SSD. It's examined. A few values are tweaked to check it in. And then it's moved to its final location. At the SSD speeds we're talking about, that last part, moving the data, meaning copying it from one location to another, takes roughly an entire next-gen CPU core. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If all the overheads get 100 times larger, that will cripple the frame rate as soon as the player moves, and that massive stream of data starts coming off the SSD. So to solve all of that, we built a lot of custom hardware, namely Ooh, a custom right. flash controller and a number of custom units in our main chip. This is going to be hard to judge. The flash controller custom, in the SSD was designed we'll for smooth and bottleneck-free operation, but also with games in mind. For example, there are six levels of priority when reading from the SSD. 
Priority is very important. You can imagine the player heading into some new location in the world and the game requesting a, a few gigabytes of textures. And while those textures are being loaded, an enemy is shot and has to speak a few dying words. Having multiple priority levels lets the audio for those dying words get loaded immediately. On one side, that flash controller connects to the actual flash dies that supply the storage. To reach our bandwidth target of 5 gigabytes a second, we ended up with a 12-channel interface. Eight channels wouldn't be enough. The resulting bandwidth we have achieved is actually 5 gigabytes That's fucking, that's immense. With a 12-channel interface, the most natural size that emerges for an SSD is 825 gigabytes. The key question for us was, is that enough? I mean, it's tempting to add more, but Flash certainly doesn't come cheap, and we have a responsibility to our gaming audience to be cost-effective with regards to what we put in the console. Ultimately, we resolved this question by looking at the play patterns of a broad range of gamers. We examined the specific games that so they were playing the size over of the course SSD of a weekend put in the PS5. Or, a week or a month, and whether that set of games would fit properly on the SSD. We were able to establish that the friction caused by reinstalls or redownloads would be quite low. And so we locked in on that 825 gigabyte size while also preparing multiple strategies so that those who want more storage can add it. I'll go 825 gigabytes is very good. Back I like that number. It's not so bad. It's close side, to one terabyte, which is the Xbox. Chip, but there's going to be something for you to be able to attach more and into it. I want to hear custom more custom about that. It's a pretty hefty yes. unit dedicated to IO. Before we talk about SSD what that does, PS5. let's talk Confirmed compression right for a moment. PlayStation 4 used Zlib as its compression format. We decided to use it again on PlayStation 5, but on my 2017 tour of developers, I learned about a new format called Kraken from Rad Game Tools. It's like Zlib's smarter cousin. Simple, uh, similar types of algorithms, but about 10% better compression, which is pretty big. That means 10% more game on the UHD Blu-ray mm -hmm. disc or on the SSD. Kraken had only How been out for a year, but it was already becoming a de facto that? industry standard. Half of the teams Sam, I talked to were confused. either using it or getting ready to evaluate it. So we hustled and built a custom decompressor into the I.O. unit, one capable of handling over 5 gigabytes of Kraken format input data. It's the Kraken! After decompression, that typically becomes 8 or 9 gigabytes. But the unit itself is capable of outputting as much as 22 gigabytes a second if the data happened to compress particularly well. By the way, in terms of performance, that custom decompressor equates to 9 of our Zen 2 cores. That's what it would take to decompress the Kraken stream with a conventional CPU. There's a lot more in the custom I.O. unit including Obviously. a dedicated DMA controller, the game can direct the exactly controller. where yeah, yeah. it wants to send the data coming off of the SSD. Mm -hmm. This equates to another Zen 2 core or two in terms of its copy performance. Its primary purpose is to I remove think 825 is pretty good, like you guys are saying. There's two good. dedicated I.O. coprocessors and a large RAM pool. These aren't Zen 2 cores. They are there principally to direct it's a variety of custom to, hardware <laughs> around them. One of the coprocessors is dedicated to SSD I.O. This lets us bypass traditional file I.O. and its bottlenecks when reading from the SSD. The other is responsible for memory mapping, which I know doesn't sound like anything related to the SSD, but a lot of developers map and remap memory as part of file I.O. So and this, this might be the plan to get the price 50 pounds there cheaper than Xbox. There are coherency engines to this assist might be the coprocessors. And it would coherency them. comes up a lot in places. Probably the biggest coherency issue is stale data in the GPU caches. Flushing all of the GPU caches whenever the SSD is read is an unattractive option. It could really hurt the GPU performance. So we've implemented a gentler way of doing things, where the coherency engines inform the GPU of the overwritten address ranges, and custom scrubbers in several dozen GPU caches do pinpoint evictions of just those address ranges. The best thing is, as a it's game very developer, techy when you so read far, from the SSD, I'm grasping you don't need it. to know I think, I think I'm getting it. You don't even need to know that your data is compressed. You just indicate what data you'd like to read <laughs> in your original drive. uncompressed file and where you'd like to put it, and the whole process of loading it happens invisibly to you and at very high speed. Back to the dream. Thanks to all of that surrounding hardware, our 5.5 gigabytes a second really should translate into something like a hundred times faster I.O. than PS4 Ooh. and allow the dream of no oh. screen and super fast oh, baby. streaming to become a reality.
a hundred times faster. That, expandability of our uh, SSD is going to be quite important. Flash ooh. is costly, and you may very well want to add oh, storage boy. to whatever we put in the console. External storage, come now, on, talk to me. The kind of storage you need depends on how you're going to use it. If you have an extensive PlayStation 4 library and you'd like to take advantage of backwards compatibility to play those games on PlayStation 5, then a large external hard drive is ideal. You can leave your games on the hard drive and play them directly from there, thus saving the pricier SSD storage for your PlayStation 5 I'll titles. I'll let them finish and I'll or explain what's going on here. Or you can copy your active PlayStation 4 titles to the SSD. If your purpose in adding more storage is to play PlayStation Gaming. 5 titles, though, chair from over ideally there. you would add Chef's your here. SSD storage. We will be supporting certain M2 SSDs. These are yes. internal drives that you can get on the open market and install in a bay in the PlayStation 5. <laughs> I did just not. As for which ones we support and when, I'll get to that in a moment. They connect through the custom I.O. unit, just like our SSD does, so they can take full advantage of the decompression, So what they the just said right there is that you can expand your storage all to the other two different types, either a normal hard drive for Here's like PS1 catch, games, which don't that need to be read fast, or an external SSD proprietary thing for games the PS5. That rely on the speed really of our fucking SSD cool. I don't think Xbox allows both of those. Something cool. Sick. When I gave the Wired interview last year, I said that the PlayStation 5 SSD was faster than anything available on PC. At the time, commercial M2 it's drives used PCIe 3.0, and four lanes of that cap out at 3.5 gigabytes a second. In other words, no PCIe 3.0 drive can hit the required spec. Mm, that's right. M2 drives with PCIe 4.0 are now out in the market. We're getting our in uh, samples and seeing mm, four that's or five lot. gigabytes a second from them. By year's end, I expect there will be drives that saturate 4.0 and support you can plug 7 into the gigabytes PS5 if you want to. Having said that, nice. we are comparing apples and oranges, though, because that commercial M2 drive will have its own architecture, its own flash controller, and so on. For example, the NVMe specification lays out a priority scheme for requests that the M2 drives can use. And that scheme is tech. pretty nice, but it only has two Should true priority tech. levels. Tech. Our drives support <laughs> six. We can hook up a drive with only two priority levels, definitely, but our custom I.O. unit has to arbitrate the extra priorities rather than the M2 drive's flash controller. And so the M2 drive needs a little extra speed to take care yeah, of issues much. arising from the different approach. The hard drive that commercial drive SSD, also needs to fast, physically fit inside of the bay we created in PlayStation yeah. 5 Wait, for way M2 better. drives. Okay. Unlike internal uh, hard drives, there's unfortunately no standard for the height of an M2 miss? drive. And some M2 drives have giant heat sinks. In fact, some of them even have their own GDDR6 fans. Six memory. Right now, we're getting like M2 GTX drive samples and cards. benchmarking them in various ways. When games hit beta as they get ready for the PlayStation 5 launch at year end, we'll also be doing some compatibility testing to make sure that the architecture of particular M2 drives isn't too foreign for I'm the games price. to handle. I'm hoping the reason Once we've done that compatibility terrible, testing, so we should be able to start letting yeah. you know Absolutely. which drives will physically fit and which drive samples have benchmarked appropriately high in our testing. It would be great if that happened by launch, but it's likely to be a, a bit uh, past it. So here. please hold off on getting about? that M2 drive until you hear from us. Okay, back to our principles. Balancing nice evolution and revolution oh, yeah, yeah, is the yeah, second. Yeah, this yeah, this yeah, was this definitely nice. a recurring theme with the GPU. Okay. We need new GPU features and capabilities. If, if we only have more performance, it's not really a new Why generation of console. Of course, yeah, yeah. many the of these capabilities result in more performance. That's yeah, part of why a PlayStation 5 teraflop is more powerful than a PlayStation 4 teraflop. But we aren't just looking for the performance. We also need the ability to do something with the AMD GPU Ryzen that two. could not have been done before. And we need higher performance for why? Every time we double the performance of some GPU component, we don't want to find out we've doubled the power consumed and the heat produced. But at the same time, we have to make sure the GPU can run PS4 games, and we have to ensure that the architecture is easy for the developers to adopt. Now, backwards compatibility was handled masterfully by AMD. They treated it as a key need throughout the design Confirmed. process. As our solution to adding new this features without blindsiding developers, we made sure that if there were new significant features, it would be optional to use them. The GPU supports ray tracing, but you don't have to use ray tracing to make your game. The GPU supports primitive shaders, but you can release your first game on PlayStation 5 without making any use of them. 
Before I get into the capabilities of the GPU, oh, the I'd like to make clear two points that can be quite confusing. Okay. First, we have a custom AMD GPU based on their RDNA 2 technology. What does that mean? AMD is continuously improving and revising their tech. For RDNA 2, their goals were, roughly speaking, to reduce power of consumption by re-architecting the GPU to put data close to where it's needed, to optimize the GPU for performance, and to add a new, more advanced feature set. But that feature set is malleable, which is to say that we have a our own needs for PlayStation, and that can factor into what the AMD roadmap becomes. So collaboration is born. If we bring concepts to AMD that are felt to be widely useful, then they can be adopted into RDNA 2 and used broadly, including in PC GPUs. If the ideas are sufficiently specific to what we're trying to accomplish, like the GPU cache scrubbers I was talking about, then they end up being just for us. If you see a similar discrete GPU available as a PC card at roughly the same time as we release our console, that means our collaboration with AMD su succeeded uh, in producing technology useful in both worlds. It doesn't mean that we as Sony simply incorporated the PC part into our console. This continuous improvement in AMD technology means it's dangerous okay. to rely on teraflops as an absolute indicator of performance. But. And CU count should be avoided <coughs> as well. In the case of CPUs, we all understand this. The PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 each have eight CPUs, but we never think that meant the capabilities and performance are equal. It's the same for CUs. For one Just thing, we've been getting much larger over time. Adding new features means adding lots of transistors. In fact, uh, the transistor count for a PlayStation 5 CU is 62% larger than the transistor count for a PlayStation 4 Damn, CU. That's a lot of transistors. Second, the PlayStation 5 GPU is backwards compatible with PlayStation 4. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. One way you can achieve backwards compatibility is to put the previous console's chipset in the new console, like we did with some PlayStation 3s. Like that but that's, of course, extremely expensive. A better way is to PS3 incorporate any differences yeah. in the previous console's logic into the new console's custom chips, meaning that even as the technology evolves, the logic and feature set that PlayStation that 4 the, and PlayStation 4 Pro titles up. rely on that. is we still did, available yeah. in backwards that was compatibility was modes. Right One advantage of yeah. this strategy is that <laughs> once backwards compatibility is in the console, it's in. It's not as if a cost down will remove backwards compatibility like it did on PlayStation 3. Achieving this unification of functionality took years of efforts by AMD, as any roadmap advancement creates a potential divergence in logic. Running PS4 and PS4 titles at boosted frequencies has also added complexity. The boost is truly massive this time around, and some game code just can't handle it. Testing has to be done on a title-by-title -title basis. Results are excellent, though. We recently took a look at the top 100 PlayStation 4 titles as ranked by Playtime, <laughs> and we're expecting almost all of them to be playable at launch on PlayStation 5. <coughs> With regards to new features, as I said, our strategy was to try to break new ground, but at the same time not to require use of the new GPU capabilities. For more than a decade, GPUs have imposed a restriction on gaming. Software handles vertex processing, but for the most part, dedicated hardware is responsible for the triangles and other geometry that the vertices form. That means it's not possible to do even basic optimizations, such as aborting processing of a vertex if all geometry that uses it is off screen. PlayStation 5 has a, a new unit called the Geometry Engine, which brings handling of triangles and other primitives under full programmatic control. As a game developer, you're free to ignore its existence and use the PlayStation 5 GPU as if it were no more capable than the PS4 GPU, or you can use this new intelligence in various ways. Simple usage could be performance optimization, such as removing backfaced or off-screen vertices and triangles. More you complex me, usage Lawrence. involves something <laughs> called primitive shaders, which allow the game to synthesize geometry on the fly as it's being them? rendered. It's a brand talking new about capability. Backwards compatibility on here. Using yeah. primitive shaders on PlayStation 5 will allow for a, a broad variety of techniques, including smoothly varying level of detail, addition of procedural detail to close-up objects, and improvements to particle effects and other visual special effects. Oh. 
Another mm -hmm. major new feature of our custom RDNA 2-based GPU is ray tracing, using the same strategy as AMD's and, um, upcoming PC uh, GPUs. The CUs contain a new specialized yeah, like unit called the intersection engine, and stuff which can calculate the intersection of rays ray with tracing. boxes and triangles. Say to use the intersection yeah, engine, yeah. first you build what is Even called Xbox an acceleration station. So it's same. data in RAM that contains all of your geometry. There's a specific set of formats you can use. They're variations on the same BVH concept. Then, in your shader program, you <coughs> use a new instruction that asks the intersection engine to check array against the BVH. Engine, yeah. mm -hmm. While Checking the intersection yeah, engine is processing the requested ray triangle or ray box intersections, the shaders are free to do other work. Exactly. Having said you that, the ray tracing instruction is pretty memory intensive, so it's a good mix with logic heavy be. code. There's of course no need to use ray tracing. PS4 graphics engines will run just fine on PlayStation 5. But it presents an opportunity for those interested. I'm thinking so upgrade, it'll take ray, less than a million ray rays a PS4 second to have a big impact on audio. Retro, that actually, should be enough for audio occlusion this and some reverb calculations. Sequence, With a bit of more of the GPU invested in ray tracing, it should be possible to do some very nice global illumination. Having said that, adding ray trace shadows and reflections to a traditional yeah. graphics tracing, engine could easily shadows, take hundreds of millions of rays a second, and full ray tracing could take billions. How far can we go? I'm starting to get quite bullish. I've already seen a PlayStation 5 title that's successfully using ray tracing based Control. reflections in complex oh, right. animated scenes with only modest costs. Another set of issues for the GPU involve yes. size and frequency. How big do we make the GPU, and what frequency do we run Bigger at? Is always this bigger. is a balancing act. The chip has a cost, and there's a cost for whatever we use to supply that yes. chip with power and to cool it. In general, I like running the GPU at higher frequency. Let me Tell show me. you why. Here's two possible configurations for a GPU roughly of the level of the PlayStation 4 Pro. This is a thought experiment. Don't take these configurations too seriously. If you just calculate teraflops, you get the same number. <coughs> but actually, the performance is noticeably different it's because teraflops yeah. is defined as the computational capability of the vector AOU. That's just one part of the GPU. There are a lot of other units. And those other oh, units all run faster sorry, when the GPU frequency is oh, higher. At 33% higher frequency, rasterization goes 33% faster. Processing the command buffer Last goes that much faster. Four, the L2 six. and uh, other caches have that much higher bandwidth, and so on. About the only downside is that system memory is 33% further away in terms of cycles. But the large number of benefits more than counterbalance that. As a friend of mine says, a rising tide lifts all boats. Also, it's <laughs> you easier to fully use 36 CUs in parallel than it is to fully to use 48 <laughs> CUs. When triangles are small, it's much harder to fill all those CUs with useful work. So there's a lot to be said for faster, assuming you can handle the resulting power and heat issues, which frankly, we haven't always done the best job at. Part of the reason for that is, historically, our process for setting CPU and GPU frequencies <laughs> has relied on some heavy-duty guesswork with regards to how much electrical power games like will consume bigger, and how bigger, much heat will be produced more heat as a result sound. inside of the console. <laughs> power consumption varies this a lot from game to game. Here. <laughs> when I play God of War on my PS4 Pro, I know Name the drop. power consumption is high just by the fan noise. Yes. But mm -hmm. power isn't simply about engine quality. It's about the minutia of what's being displayed and how. It's counterintuitive, but Processing dense geometry typically consumes less power than processing simple geometry, which is, I suspect, why Horizon's map screen, with its low triangle count, makes voice. my PS4 yeah. Pro heat up so much. Our process on previous consoles has been to try to you guess what the maximum the power thing. consumption during the entire console lifetime might be, which is to say, the worst case scene in the worst case game and prepare a <coughs> cooling solution that we think will be quiet at that power level. If we get it right, fan noise is minimal. If we get it wrong, the console will be quite loud for the higher power games, and there's even a chance that it might overheat and shut down if we misestimate power too badly. That hasn't happened, been an issue. PlayStation 5 is process, especially challenging not, because not the not CPU really, no. supports 256-bit <coughs> native instructions that consume a lot of power. These are great here and there, but presumably only minimally used. 
or are they? If we plan for major 256-bit instruction usage, we need to set the CPU clock substantially lower or noticeably increase the size of the power supply and fan. Mm. So after <coughs> much discussion, we decided to go with a very different direction on PlayStation 5. We built a GPU with 36 CUs. Mind you, our DNA 2 CUs are large. Each has 62% more transistors than the CUs we were using on PlayStation <coughs> 4. Mm -hmm. So if we compare transistor counts, 36 RDNA 2 CUs equates to roughly 58 PlayStation 4 CUs. Okay. It is a fairly <coughs> sizable GPU. Then we went with a variable frequency strategy for PlayStation 5, okay. which is to say we continuously run the GPU and CPU in boost mode. We supply a generous amount of electrical power and then increase the frequency of GPU and CPU until they reach the capabilities of the system's cooling solution. It's a completely different paradigm. Rather than running at constant frequency and letting power vary based on the workload, we run at essentially constant power and let okay. the frequency ba vary <coughs> based on the workload. We then tackled the engineering challenge of a cost-effective and high-performance cooling solution designed for that specific power level. In some ways, it becomes a simpler problem because there are no more <coughs> unknowns. There's no need to guess what power consumption the worst-case game might have. As for the details of the cooling solution, we're saving them for our teardown. I think you'll be quite happy with what the engineering team came up with. So, how fast can we run the GPU and CPU That's with this what we strategy? Know. The simplest approach would be to look at the actual temperature of the silicon die and throttle the frequency on that basis. But that won't work. It fails to create a consistent PlayStation 5 Give experience. Me the number. It wouldn't do to run a console slower simply because it was in a hot room. So rather than look at the actual temperature of the silicon die, we look at the activities that the GPU and CPU are performing and set the frequencies on that basis, which makes everything deterministic and repeatable. <coughs> While we're at it, we also use AMD's smart shift technology and send any unused power from the CPU to the GPU so it can squeeze out a few more pixels. The benefits of this, this strategy are quite large. Running a GPU at 2 gigahertz was looking like an unreachable target with the old mm -hmm. fixed frequency strategy. With this new paradigm, we're, we're able to run way over that. In fact, we have to cap the GPU frequency oh, at 2.23 okay. gigahertz okay. so that we can guarantee that the on-chip logic operates properly. 36 CUs 10 at 2.23 gigahertz is 10.3 teraflops, and we expect the GPU to spend most of its time at or close to that frequency and performance. Mm. Similarly, running the okay. CPU at 3 gigahertz was causing headaches with the old strategy. But now we can run it as high as 3.5 gigahertz. In fact, it spends most of its time at that frequency. That doesn't mean all games will be running at 2.23 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz. When that worst case game arrives, it will run at a lower clock speed, but not too much lower. To reduce power by 10%, it only takes a couple of percent reduction in frequency. So I'd expect any down clocking to be pretty minor. All things considered, the change to a variable frequency approach will show significant gains for PlayStation gamers. The final of so our three principles was, was about three. finding new Sounds dreams. It's important for us on the hardware well, team to find there, new ways to expand it, or deepen gaming. And that's what led us to a focus yeah. on 3D the audio. We had in the initial rumors. Yeah. As players, we experienced the game through the visuals, through Xbox audio, 12, and through the feedback we received from the control, that, such as rumor, rumble the or the lower, Personally, the lower I feel a game is just dead the, without audio. The, visuals the are, of course, important, but the impact of audio is huge as well. In, like, at the same time, the audio the team on a game project has to do a lot with a little. For example, on PlayStation 4, there's fierce competition for the Jaguar CPU cores. Audio typically ends up getting just a fraction of a core. That's not so much of a computational terabytes. resource, Sorry. particularly when you consider that the visuals run at 30 or 60 frames a second, but audio processing needs to happen at almost 200 times a second. So it's been tough going making forward progress on audio with PlayStation 4, particularly when PlayStation 3 was such a beast like when it came to still audio. Still the the SPUs in Cell were it's almost a perfect device for audio rendering. Sort of Simple yeah. pipelined yeah. algorithms okay. could really take advantage of asynchronous DMA oh, and frequently reach 100% utilization well. of the floating uh, point units. There's unfortunately nothing comparable on PlayStation 4.
probably Let's the most dramatic game. progress oh. in the PlayStation 4 generation we go. has been with virtual reality. The PSVR hardware has its own yes. audio unit. It supports about 50 pretty decent 3D sound sources. And this provided a hint as to where we could go with audio, oh, as well as some valuable already. Fuck experience. Xbox. <laughs> Not to oversimplify, so but here were our Come goals on. for audio on PlayStation 5. The first goal was great audio for everyone, not just VR users or soundbar owners or headphone users. That meant audio had to be part of the console. It couldn't be a peripheral. The second goal was to support hundreds of sound sources. We didn't want developers to have to pick and choose what sounds would get 3D effects and which wouldn't. We wanted every sound in the game nice. to have dimensionality. Nah, pauses every now and, again. and finally, we wanted to really take on the challenges of presence and locality. Now, when we say presence, we mean the feeling that you're actually there. You've entered the matrix. It's not, of course, something we thought we could perfectly achieve. But the matrix. idea was that if we stopped using just a rain sound and instead in used like, lots of 3D of audio sources for raindrops <laughs> hitting the ground at all sorts of locations around you, then at some point your brain would take a leap and you'd begin Sounds to have this feeling, this well, feeling so. of real I mean, presence this is inside the virtual it's world of the hasn't game. As well, this has the capacity to affect your appreciation of the yeah. game, uh, just like music mm -hmm. in a game does. The concept of locality is simpler. It's just your sense of where the audio is coming from. To the right of you, behind you, above you. This can immerse you further in the game, and it can also directly enhance the gameplay. To use dead space as an example, <laughs> I know, old school, you're fighting enemies in fairly dark, space, spooky locations. Woo! Back in the day, Business if you played monster. the game using the TV speakers, you could tell that there was one last enemy growling and hunting you down, but it was difficult to tell quite where that enemy was. With headphones, you could tell that the enemy was somewhere on the right, which let you deduce, if you couldn't see it, that it must That's be somewhere point. behind and to your right. So I invested in but with 3D audio with yeah. good locality, the idea is you know the enemy is precisely there, and you turn, and you take it out. So. How do we know where a sound is coming from in the first place? Well, all those bumps and folds in the ear have a meaning, evolutionarily speaking. Based on what direction the sound is coming from, sound waves bounce around inside the ear, there's some constructive and destructive interference, and the result is a change in volume. The phase of the sound also shifts, depending on what path the sound wave took to reach the ear canal. These volume changes and phase shifts are <coughs> different for each direction and also vary depending on the frequency of the sound. Head size and head shape also impact the sound in a similar fashion. The way that the sound changes based on direction and frequency here, can be encoded in a table called the head-related transfer function, or HRTF. Here's part of one. The vertical axis is the frequency, the horizontal axis is the direction, the way, front, boys, back, left, right, and the color gives the degree of attenuation <laughs> yeah, of the just, sound at that frequency. Like I the HRTF is as like, unique to an individual is as a fingerprint now, is. In <laughs> fact, you're looking at mine right now. Here's how we measure an HRTF. Oh, We've taken Jesus. hundreds of people through this process. We put a microphone in the subject's like left and right ear canal, <laughs> yeah, like and Matrix, then right? <laughs> the subject down in the middle of an array of 22 speakers. Like, Fuck my life. We then <laughs> play Jesus an Christ audio that. sweep from each speaker as we rotate the subject. In the course of 10 or 20 minutes, we're able to sample the HRTF at over 1,000 locations. Using an HRTF when rendering audio creates unparalleled quality, but it's computationally expensive. The simplest way to use an HRTF is to process a sound yeah, source a to make it appear data. as if it's coming from one of those thousand locations we sample. Unfortunately, the processing has to be done in frequency domain rather than time domain, so there's multiple fast Fourier transforms needed for every sound source for it's every audio. To be shown at GDC That's a and lot GDCs are of for developers, so This computational Fair complexity enough. was Fair the determining enough. factor for our strategy. Still, we it see. meant we had to <laughs> bite the bullet and design and build a custom hardware unit for 3D audio. Collectively, we're referring to the hardware unit and the proprietary algorithms we run on it as Tempest 3D Audio Tech. That the meaning of sick. 3D audio and technology should be pretty obvious yeah. here. As for Tempest, I feel it really reflects our goals with audio. It suggests a certain intensity of experience and also hints at your presence within it. We're calling the hardware unit that we built the Tempest Engine. 
It's based on AMD's GPU technology. We modified a compute unit in such a way as to make it very close to the SPUs in PlayStation 3. Remember when I said that they were ideal for audio? So the Tempest engine has no caches, just like an SPU. All data access is via DMA, just like I'm an SPU. I'm glad it's like an SPU. Our target was really that it would have about that. more power than a CPU, thanks to the parallelism that a GPU can achieve, and that it would be more efficient than our GPU, thanks to the SPU-like architecture. The goal being to make possible near 100% utilization of the CU's vector units. Where we ended up is a unit with roughly the same SIMD power and bandwidth as all eight Jaguar cores in the PlayStation 4 combined. Mm. If just we were to PSVR. use the same just algorithms the, as no, PSVR, the that's engine, enough for oh, something like 5,000 sound your audio engine. <laughs> But of course, oh. we want to use more complex algorithms, and we don't need anything like that number of sounds. It would have been wonderful if no, a simpler kidding. strategy, <laughs> such as Man, using Dolby Atmos <laughs> peripherals, could have achieved our goals. But we wanted 3D audio for all, not just those with licensed sound bars or the like. Also, we wanted many hundreds of sound sources, not just the 32 that Atmos supports. Tempest and finally, cool we word. wanted to be able to me. throw an overwhelming <laughs> amount of processing <laughs> power at the problem. And it wasn't clear what any Let's peripheral might That's have inside of it. Now. In fact, with the Tempest engine, we even price. got enough power that we can allocate some to the games, to the extent that games want to make use of convolution reverb and other algorithms that are either computationally expensive or need high bandwidth. But the primary purpose of the Tempest engine remains 3D audio. Now, 3D audio is a major academic research topic. It's safe to say that no one in the world has all of the answers. And the set of algorithms that has to be invented, tuned, or implemented to realize our vision for 3D audio is immense. For example, use of HRTFs in games is quite complex. Before, I talked about making a sound source appear as if it's coming uh, from one of those thousand HRTF sample locations. But for high quality 3D game audio, we have to handle other possibilities. The sound source might not be at one of the thousand HRTF sample locations, so we have to blend the HRTF data from the closest locations that we have sampled. The sound yeah, source might be moving, which needs like very a special a handling as that blend keeps changing, really. and that can cause phase artifacts in the resulting audio. Or the sound source might have a size to it, meaning it should yeah. feel as if it's coming from an area rather than a single yeah. point. There's also whole categories of approaches to be handled. 3D audio can be Even implemented nine, using individual know. processing of 3D sound sources. So it's a little more but than a alternatively, <laughs> ambisonics can be used for 3D audio. Ambisonics yeah. being somewhat like the spherical harmonics used in computer graphics. And finally, there's audio devices. The player might be using headphones or TV speakers or have a higher end surround sound set up with six or more yeah, speakers, speakers, all of which need different AI. approaches. Exactly. That's a <laughs> lot of variations. It's nice to have the computational resources of the Tempest so yeah, engine, everyone give but it's prices. clear that achieving our ultimate goals with 3D audio is going to be a multi-year, step-by-step process. To 500. Having said that, the headphone audio implementation is largely completed this time. Uh, four, it was four, a natural nine. place I for us to start. With headphones, to, uh, we control exactly what each ear hears, and therefore mm -hmm. the algorithmic mm -hmm. development and implementation mm -hmm. are more straightforward. For TV speakers and stereo speakers, we're in the process of implementing virtual surround sound. The idea yeah. being that if you're sitting in a sweet spot in front of the TV, then the sound can be made to feel as if it's coming from any direction, He's even wait behind. Four years before he gets the next gen anyway, Virtual surround sound has a lot <laughs> in common with 3D is, audio on headphones, but it's more complex be because the left ear can hear the right yes, speaker and, and vice versa. One. We have a yeah. basic but implementation like of virtual one, surround two, sound one, up and running. We're now looking at increasing the size of that sweet spot, yeah. which is to say <clears throat> making the area you need to be in to feel the 3D effect larger. Wide? And we're also working to boost the sense of locality. Lawrence, Headphone audio is the current crazy. gold standard for but 3D I mean, audio on PlayStation 5, tech, but we're going to see what we can do to bring virtual surround sound to a similar level, Russian after which we'll start in on setups with more speakers, such as six-channel surround sound. It's now to the point where some of the PlayStation 5 games in development are extensively using these systems. One of the game demos allows you to toggle between conventional PlayStation 4 style stereo audio and our new 3D audio. I listened with just an ordinary pair of over-the-ear headphones and wow, 
I could feel a difference. 3D audio has that dimensional feel to it. Oh. Conventional stereo audio feels smashed flat by comparison. Yeah, just left the, right. the improvement yeah. is obvious. So, a big advancement, but have I entered the matrix? Does my brain believe I'm really there? Like Neo. I was talking about earlier right. when I explained Neo. our target of presence. Well, the answer is no, but you've probably caught on to what's missing here, namely whose HRTF was being used. It wasn't mine, it was the default HRTF. The audio team analyzed the hundreds that they measured and chose the one they felt was the closest fit to the total game playing audience. This shows a, a piece of the default okay. HRTF on the left and my HRTF on the right. You can see that the general features are much the same, but the details are quite different. With the default HRTF, as I said, I the 3D audio sounds pretty show. great. <laughs> when I course. use my HRTF, though, the audio reaches a higher level home, of realism, diagrams. which is to say is that when using headphones and head. my HRTF, so as you can I see from occasionally left side, right get fooled side, and even think a sound is coming from the real world when it's actually setting, coming from the game. And this is Mark Cerny's pattern, very similar. A corollary there are some is that there are a few people whose HRTFs are sufficiently far from the default HRTF that's the red well, dot here, well, that they the can data. toggle between oh, okay, PS4 okay. style and PS5 Based style audio and not cool. sense much difference. I've had a few people Oof. describe the PlayStation yeah, 5's 3D them. audio as sounding like a bit better stereo like audio. Presumably the they're the ones <laughs> at the very edges Why of this diagram. Above me? Which means what HRTF you're using is key. I'd like everyone to be able to experience what I'm experiencing, but obviously it's not possible to measure the HRTF of every PlayStation user. That means HRTF selection and synthesis are going to be big topics going forward as the Tempest technology matures. At PlayStation 5 launch, we'll be offering a choice of five HRTFs. There's a, a simple test where you pick the one that gives you the best locality. Okay, that's good. That's just the first step, though. This is an open-ended research topic. Maybe you'll be sending us a photo of your ear, and we'll choose a neural network to pick the closest HRTF in our library. Cyberpunk. Maybe that's you'll be sending us a video of your ears you know how they say and your when head, you take and we'll make a 3D model the of them and synthesize the government's got pictures of your face, now it's got pictures of your ears. Maybe you'll play no, an audio game. It's happening. We know the HRTF. Way we'll be subtly changing it as you play <laughs> and home in on the HRTF that gives you the highest Amber. score, meaning that it matches you the best. The this is a, a journey we'll all be taking together over the next few years. Ultimately, we're committing to enabling everyone to experience that next level of realism. That's cool. Turn your mic volume Hopefully, on. I've been able to illustrate a bit Thank about you. our design and decision-making process to today a bit and sometimes. why PlayStation 5 has the feature set that it does. Now comes the fun part. We get to see how the development community takes advantage of that feature set. Oh, okay. I'm hoping for the completely no, unexpected. I was going to say, like, are you going to show audio, us? Audio, ray tracing, the capabilities of the, the SSD, I or something else. So I guess we'll find out soon like enough. graphics, render distance, stuff like that. That's why Thank I you my... for your time today. Cheers, Mark. Thank Golf you, Mark. Golf Thank Golf you, Mark. Very good. Everybody, welcome back from that in-depth deep dive into the PlayStation 5. We yeah. heard a we lot got of very the double Ds right there, the we deep got dive. A lot of Ds right there. We got a lot of really good information right there. So big headlines to go over this. And again, we're gonna go over this in we like podcasts cucked. and stuff like that. No, 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 go boys. On. Take take all of that back. We got cucked. We didn't get the price. <laughs> That's the one Frick thing they you, said Mark. they were gonna do. Frick no, you. No, no. So uh we got the 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory confirmed for the PlayStation yep, 5. For the RAM, yeah. We got backwards compatibility confirmed for all previous consoles. Yeah. It said Did they there. say all previous? Or I thought yeah, it was just PS4. They showed that as in the graphic, but they okay, did also okay, mention okay. that before as well. Cool. And that's gonna be very smartly handled. That's very cool. Yep. We've got the 3D audio lecture that we had at the end there, which sounds like it's gonna be very transformative. That's it's a big deal. And it also confirms something because we had said that there was that pattern leak for the PSVR 2 and is it likely mm. that it's coming out but if they're talking about 3D sound yeah. and we literally saw PSVR they brought up tech, on screen yeah yeah so PSVR 2 all but confirmed all at this but point, confirmed right? Uh, we also got the clock speeds of the of the CPU and the GPU. They said they're 2.3, but up to 3.5 uh, gigahertz speed. And the big crucial number, the 10.3 teraflops, which is way more than we have right now on the PlayStation 4. It However, is. a little bit less than the Xbox Seri uh, Series X. So, but we covered this. We, we said we'd heard a few rumors. We'd seen a few rumors. And one of those was that the... The PlayStation has fewer teraflops than the Xbox. Mm -hmm. However, it seemed to, in that testing, 
be performing as good or maybe better, mm-hmm. you know, by like a hair of a margin, five to ten percent, somewhere in there. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the wavy road. That's what we heard. And we heard that it was like the due to the optimization and this like they were talking about Z process compression and also the delivery stuff, stuff like that. We totally understand, yeah. but we won't go into in depth. And then they went up to this Kraken thing that I think it was just before you came in, this Kraken form uh, of technology. Maybe the optimization brings it up to par. Maybe it makes up for that. That's what happened there. with the uh, the PS3 and the Xbox 360. The 360 was quite a way less powerful than the PS3, but it yeah. just had way better coding and yep. games were way better optimized for it and they ran better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In gen- And that's to, true of even uh, the, the the exclusives. Exclusive concept, exclusive games ran, relatively speaking, quite yeah. poorly on the PS3. Just so you guys know as well, we're going to be bringing this up in the True Gamer podcast, in other videos in the future. If any of you guys want to submit questions or any points or anything like that, click the link in the description, head over to, over to the Discord yep, server, yep, yep, yep. or drop a comment down below, and we will answer those questions on the podcast, the True Gamer podcast. Yep. You guys can tune in for some of that. Guys, drop anything you want as well in the chat as Modox well. we'll is read buying them out. both. My guy's balling out. Damn here. right. He's got big dick energy right there. Right. He's coming out. He's coming out for it. Just solder them together. My thing's got 22 teraflops. <laughs> it's like, and he'll th- play anything. What you saying? Um, I was actually thinking about it today. I was having a good think about the Xbox Series X, and I was like, should I get one? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But I I don't know. I don't think I can afford it, to be fair. It's a, but... it's a lot of money, and the real thing is. <sighs> Anything you can play, mm-hmm. you can play on the Xbox. You can you're gonna be able to play pretty much on the PlayStation, but not the other way around. So you're yeah. basically buying a console that can't play all the games that you want, versus a game a, a console that can play all the games you want plus the exclusives that you want. Yeah. That's that's why I'm going PS Five. It's a good point. It's a good point, and that's Just the reason me. why I would want it. Um, and also that the other good thing as well that I'm sure you guys bring it up. In fact, Barzi uh, Aussie right there saying uh, Halo Infinite. Mate, I'm the a Halo games. fanboy, but the games the only thing that we've really got confirmation of is halo infinite on the xbox it's not enough whereas playstation we haven't got confirmation for games yet but last of us backwards two. compatibility so far i mean it's gonna there's gonna be a day one patch for Guaranteed. uh last of us two yeah. there's gonna be there's a day be a one patch, patch for for um ghost of shishima there's gonna be and we're hoping there's gonna be one big exclusive as well maybe a horizon zero dawn Knack three dawn two knack three that's right sony horizon was right there one dawn. horizon one dawn that's right maybe some god of war teasers as well for the first year maybe second year something Actually, like that who is it uh oh no i missed yeah stroha <laughs> stroha was saying about the uh i'm saving up here in the uk you can't afford it. You own 50 PS4 consoles. It's Zahir. true. Zahir. I do have a, an, an issue where I buy multiple PlayStation 4s. So, you, um, you can't be doing that with next gen. Uh, you can't be doing like, that with I, next gen. I'm looking at my wallet and I'm like... Mm, no. But the, um, the, the SSD is actually really fast. If those, are, if those numbers are even close. That was it as well. Sorry, I forgot about that one text. Oh, 825 said, uh, gigabytes SSD. Uh, that's ba- That number was calculated based on the amount of channels in an SSD. And he went into technical specs. That was the logical number. And the key thing, he said, the reason why we stayed at that number and we didn't go any higher was because we wanted to uh, keep pricing. the price down. And so they could be trying to give the, a killing blow to, to it, Xbox. It's also gonna, they said it will balance with uh, conventional hard drives as well. So Yes, that's a good... Uh, that was amazing. Which because, we spoke about. We, yeah. we covered that when we had heard the rumours that it would be under a terabyte. We didn't actually know where it would be, but we yeah. had heard that PS5 is going to have under a terabyte of SSD when it comes yeah. in. But we said, like, there were those, uh, what do they call those drives? Variable drives? Variable uh, hybrid drives. drives. Hybrid drives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the, the idea of the expanded thing. And he also explained it in a way that would be normal. So we said, a normal hard drive, slow read speeds, it's going to be a bottleneck and whatnot. But he explained it. He was like, so if you want to play more like PS1 games or backwards compatibility games, yeah. you can chuck them all on a hard drive because those aren't big games. They can load and they, they won't be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Plus it can load up stuff. And keep it like uh, backlogged for you. And in then its like RAM it and stuff exactly. like that. And I was like, cool, no problem. And he was like, but if you want to play the other ones, then maybe you look for one of these NVMe cards and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be more expensive, I'm sure. They're going to be pretty expensive. But I like the idea that you sort of explained what the scenario yeah, would be. I like agree. Right I agree. How do you guys feel, by the way? Uh, Ollie says, might not drop 500 quid. Uh, is a bit mental, though. <laughs> Uh, if I get $75 a week, I'm good boy, says Russian Victor. 
Eddie, resist the temptation. You're going to buy Max. multiple of these things. <laughs> and two years in, they're going to do a PS5 Pro, and you're going to get that. And of course, yeah. you, and then it will come out in white, and you have to get that. So that's then the they'll thing. They'll do 100 million. They'll do it in black, and then that's the like, 100 million. Uh, yeah, the 500, 500 million, million consoles sold. Yeah, yeah. This the translucent blue one I've got. It does beautiful. look sick, and every now and then I catch. Uh, a reflection I'm like is that the reflection am I seeing through it oh wait and then I have to Ooh. give it a look yeah it is, it is nice <laughs> oh boy so guys where are your hype levels after that are you guys excited I mean we've been starved of PlayStation information yeah, no, no, we, sh- heck you we just told you everything you need to know 10.3 teraflops that means it, it's way quicker than a PS4 Pro uh, yeah. but a hair under Xbox it's got really 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 fast SSD mm-hmm. uh, but just under a gig so like no, a terabyte, sorry. Um, he he eight, gave a... 800 gigabytes. 825 gigabytes. He gave a comparison, by the way. That's a weird number, though. To, it is a weird number. It's based on the channels. It's a bit like, you know when you have um, a 8 gigabyte memory card, and then it goes up to 16, 32, yeah, yeah. Right? There's like a logical number that it goes up oh, to. Oh, the number of channels in, in SSD is not... Exactly, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. So that's the reason for okay. that. I was um, like, that is not a number I'm expecting. Yeah, exactly. Uh they they did also talk about the um the speed of the SSD. So they said five point five gigabytes per second. Ooh, Ooh. fucking mad! And it was like he, he, I don't it, think my my internet if I was downloading <laughs> the game can't hack that. So it equates to something like a uh, hundred times faster than the current PS4. The way that he was describing it, and he showed it on screen, is that instead of you loading in a place and then having to put someone in an elevator up some stairs in order to delete that and then load a new area yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, because a lot of those waiting scenes where you're transitioning, it's, it's loading. And, and, yeah, it's just a lo- It's a fancy loading screen. Exactly. They did a, a demonstration where it was literally loading what is in the view of the person. And it's loading fast enough that when that person turns, it loads with That's it. That's pretty... Fucking insane, right? <laughs> Although that said, and I bet even though they they're saying they're trying to work on power and, and cooling and stuff, I want an option to do it the old way so that I can save on my PS5. It's gonna be like so you know those generators. It's gonna sound you... like you're starting a drone in your. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be, um, you know, there's those industrial outlets where it's like a, you have to lift up in a cap yeah, yeah, and then yeah, shove yeah, that yeah. in. That's going to be the PS5 outlet in today. It's going to be like, sh- <laughs> <laughs> better performance in games, better graphics, higher FPS. Instead of starting it with a button, you have to pull. <laughs> vroom, vroom, it's a fucking rusty old thing. Like, <laughs> yeah, everyone's in good. Uh, I think the design of the PS5 will change drastically. So we said this when the, uh, the, when the dev kit leaked that if the hardware was anything like what had been rumoured, and it's pretty close, mm-hmm. actually, what for two reasons. One, I can see all the vents and stuff being needed for airflow. Mm-hmm. And two, just the amount of production that went into those dev kits. Normally dev kits, they could be like wood just screwed together with a computer inside and they throw them out. They just don't care. It doesn't look good at all, just a box. Interestingly, though, do you remember we saw the, the Xbox um, Series X Beta, uh, the not the beta, the the dev kits. Yeah, yeah. With the ports, what what are we gonna get? Like USB Cs or, or? So so that's an interesting thing. They didn't talk about that for the PlayStation, which is really that's sucky. That's a bottleneck. That's, that's a, a bottleneck. And that's something that I want to bring up as well. So apparently, there's no optical output cable for the uh, Xbox Series X, which is something that's been on PS3 and Xbox 360 and whatnot yeah. stuff like that. And also. They've got USB-C connection to the controllers that they have, but the other Whoa. side is USB-A. What's the point in that? What is the point in that? What is the point in that? What, and how much would it have cost to put a USB-C cable and in, uh, port into that? Now, PlayStation, if you're listening, please. USB-Cs. Just, chuck, just two USB-Cs in there, that's all I need. There's USB-C everywhere. If you could do it everywhere, that'd be great. Yeah. But if you want, put two of those, two legacy ports, done. That's all yeah, you want yeah, right give us a Give us a regular USB, because we're going to need it for, yeah. for bits and bobs. And you're going to need it for the uh, PSVR, the old the one. The PSVR, thing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, eventually you're going to probably jailbreak it or something and, <laughs> and load on like a Pokemon in a thumb drive or something, because yeah. everybody does something like that. Yeah, and porn and whatnot. Lots of porn, course, porn, of yeah, course, yeah, your yeah. VR porn is VR probably... Porn. You know, you're taking it from your computer okay. to your, yeah. you know. Gonna you know have to try that. As you do, if we're still on lockdown by that time, which we might all be in we're quarantine. Gonna, we're going to need to, ah, uh, the funniest thing I saw, a, um, this is going a little bit off topic. There was um, a, a guy watching a stripper on like a live stream feed yes. and he was throwing dollar bills at his computer. <laughs> it was like, funny. It's like quarantine day five. <laughs> water cooling. We said these, this hardware spec isn't outside of the water cooling range. The only problem is water cooling 
Needs maintenance. Maintenance, yes. That's and that's why thing. you buy a console. We buy consoles because we buy it. My one, I got my PlayStation launch night, mm -hmm. day of release, I plugged it in and it stayed put and I never touch it ever. Yeah. That's the point, right? That's why I get it. If I wanted to do maintenance and if I wanted water cooling, we'd make a, a rig. And actually, yeah. if we did make a gaming rig, we'd make an editing rig and then game on it. You yeah. Know, like, we'd play Minesweeper all day. Of course. Yeah. I'd, but, I'd, get, I'd level up on Excel. Exactly, level yeah. up nicely. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Do all my sums and stuff. As annoying as being a... How many USB ports? PS4 we didn't know. Yeah. We don't know anything about they, the porting. They didn't mention anything else yeah. about that. It was purely a tech thing for developers. That's what this really was for. By the way, I just want to say thank you as well to everybody who showed up. Yeah, this thanks was a for hanging out. Fantastic show. And Turn if you can out. like the stream, if you happen to forget, you know. Yeah, if you forgot about it, happens, it subscribe, happens. you know. Diogo's saying uh, he's not too fussed about... He hardly plays PS1 and PS2 games, so he's not too fussed about backwards compatibility. Dan, I mean, Dan, I said, some, Dan said something about it. He was like, you guys all want backwards compatibility until you get backwards compatibility. Yeah. We've said it famously how we played GoldenEye. And Dan, you're right. We, we said it. We're going to get it and we're going to play it once. And it's going to be like... Then oh. again, saying that, I downloaded uh, Final Fantasy IX, yeah. which is a PS1 game, and I played the shit out of it yeah. on my PS4. So I mean, it's a great game. Some of these games are still brilliant. I would like to play Simpsons Hit and Run again. Simpsons Hit and Run, mate. So, so I'm not normally for just remaking stuff. I think like remaking films and shows is generally not a good idea. Yeah. Most of the time, they <clears> don't come out too well. Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, what's some other bangers that we crazy get? Taxi. Crazy Taxi. Crazy <laughs> Taxi. Yeah. What? What's some uh, Vice City? GTA Vice oh. City. I just want make the exact same game. Just give me better graphics. <laughs> I want the same weapons cheats because I still know them off by heart. I want everything the exact same. Just and even if there's like artifacts, if there's that one hook on that one road that her foot always goes through the pavement or something, <laughs> keep it. Just make it better. I'm graphics. down. It's endearing. It's great. Right. Exactly. Edinator Lawrence says so. Uh, my terms. If they do a Gran Turismo one and two remaster, then I'm in. If not, then no, thank you. That's all he wants. That's all he wants in life. Um, da -da 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 -da. The other thing with amazing. remaking games is that sometimes they cut the difficulty. Yeah. And some of those games like Dark Souls and things, the reason people like them is they're difficult. Yeah. Is that they're hard to play. And so backwards compatibility is cool. I mean, I still have my PlayStation 1, 2, 3, Nintendo 64, my Game Boy Color. Like I've still got, I keep yeah. my stuff because I like it. I I only more recently, I think within the last like five years, started to keep my consoles. Before I'm I used glad to I did. I used to like Although just trade them straight in. I don't oh. need two of them. I have two PS1s and two PS2s. So I could probably get rid of one. But I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I'm not going to take 30 quid for it. I, in case yeah. one breaks, I'll keep it. Yeah, that's not worth the money anymore. Exactly. Right? It's like, oh, God, and whatnot. As opposed to when you were a kid, when it was like 30 quid. I'm rich. <laughs> yes, Pokemon cards. Do you know how many Pokemon cards I can get with that? And then the Pokemon cards break and get wet and shit. Yeah, exactly. And they come apart. Okay, uh, I think the thing about backwards compatibility is just for one convenience. Is, sorry, it's just for convenience, right? Uh, like, no other workout or your old console. Uh, yeah, I, that's pretty much it. Just I'll for convenience. What, so again, I mentioned P uh, Final Fantasy IX, the best Final Fantasy game. Don't at me on the Discord, but it's four discs. So if you play it on the play PS1, you get to a point where it just stops and says, please insert disc two. Oh. You just, you, you, just please insert disc two or disc three, right? Oh. Whereas... Funnily enough, actually, on the remake, it still says that, but you just click X. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What? I know. That's good. I like that. I, to be honest. That's the best thing I ever. actually loved it when it came up. I was like, I can't believe I forgot about this because it was multiple discs. I haven't used multiple discs since. Like, I could imagine years. you cracking up when I that moment happens where it's just like. <laughs> I did. I did. Because I forgot that the, the case was this big. Yeah. And the, by the way, the manual was thick as well, but it like, opened out and there were four discs. <laughs> <laughs> and I forgot about that. Like, because games have been one disc for like 10 years or 15 years. <laughs> yeah. Good times. Good times. Oh, man. Will we be able to get PSP games? Though? They didn't mention anything about that. They didn't, well, to be fair, they didn't go specifically PS1, PS2, and stuff like that, but they mentioned legacy they ones said and whatnot. Backwards compatibility and legacies. PSP yeah. is, a, is a PlayStation product. It's possible. I mean, you, know, you right? can get PS Vita games to run on PlayStation. Uh, what are their PSP or... exclusives? I can't think what they may. Well, long I know they time like, toned ago. down things, but. Yeah. I don't even have a PS1 anymore, says Diogo. You suck, Diogo. This you is do. why you suck. You do. And everybody, uh, if you're not on the Discord, join the Discord. <laughs> let Diogo know. How do you make a four-disc game? <laughs> Mate, it was brilliant as well. I absolutely love that game. And I'm, I, I'm not being ironic. Best Final Fantasy ever made. Swear to God. Seven's overrated. Eight's trash. Ooh, hot Seven's overrated. Here. Zaheer's going to kill you. I, it's good, but it's overrated. It's not bad, 
but it is overrated. I played the demo the other day on the stream. And I saw it. I really liked it. It's I really good. liked it. It's yeah. good. Yeah. But it's overrated. Fancy it's not as good. Everybody says it's amazing. It changes the game. The other thing is, it, it, what's weird is you're just smashing square. Mm. Right? In the original one, it's all turn-based. Which, yeah, I heard that. Which I know sounds less fun, but it, it's what the game is. So there's, there's more, in a weird way, there's more going on. In the version you played, you're just smashing. You're not even button bashing. You're just... Pressing the same button till the enemy goes yeah. away. I would actually, if it gives you the option, I don't know. I would put it to turn based. That's how mm. I would play that. Personally. Interesting. Is it turn based like Pokemon? Welcome to Japan. I have a four disc game. What's your four disc game? Is no, no, it no, I, I think he's talking about Final oh, Fantasy. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Final Fantasy Nine was a huge game. I <laughs> I'm just curious how long uh, it was. I think he even said up to 100 uh, PS4 games when he said it. Oh, you think so? Did he actually mention that, Dan? If he did, that's really cool. Oh, so maybe it's not all PS4 games. Okay, all right. I guess they would. it would have to be... He did say it would have to be done by a case-by-case basis because each one, they'll just... If the frame rate gets too high and whatnot, it could bug out the game and stuff like that. If you Go just on. do the main story, for the average player, 50 hours. Final Fantasy Nine PS One. Yes, boy, and people are like, oh, the witch is too big. <laughs> Frick you! I was doing Final Fantasy Nine when I was like eleven. Are Final Fantasy games even linked, or are they all separate adventures? So, generally speaking, they're their own thing. Okay, they're their own thing, um, and you get brand new protagonists and and I think a brand new world every single time. At least the ones okay. I've played. So, um, but are there anime titties in all of them? All right, I'm sold. All I mean, right, the, the, I'm playing is, all of them from the start. Final Fantasy One. <laughs> annoyingly, as a weeb, which if you guys are new, I just actually did this little pet project about anime, and I got you to do anime club and all this stuff. But the, the literally the, at gunpoint, yeah. literally <laughs> at gunpoint. I'll get it out if I have to. Um, the later fun fancies are getting more like anime esque, and I don't like it. I don't dig it. I, mm. There's, it's lost the magic. It's just an anime game, and the characters are relatively thin. Mm. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, Adita came up here, and I was worried. Uh, I didn't want to say, speak out of turn because I, I didn't know. Apparently, there was a turn-based option. At the beginning, it did give me an option to play a couple of ways. Not even joking. I would change that straight away. I, if I were you... I'm going to go back and try, actually, just to see what it's like, because I've been in the I demo think, now. I so think you will probably find that you don't like it as much mm. initially, because the, the way I saw you playing it is much more similar to the way we're used to it's gaming. action-packed and whatnot. But... I was watching you thinking, oh man, this must be really boring for you because all you're doing is pressing square and then maybe triangle and then square again. I was interested because it was like a brand new world and yeah, I was yeah. like, well, what does everything do? Yeah. I use abilities? Oh, I can use my own potions. Oh, okay. Final let me Fantasy do this. VII world. I recommend you get it and you play it on stream. My one recommendation is that, um, oh, what's her name? Tifa. Not Tifa. Uh, the other girl whose name I forget. The other one with the beautiful Eris. green eyes. Eris, Eris. that's it. Uh, Erith? She, Erith, yeah, Erith, Erith, Eris, Zahir, let us know, which was the one Eris. I wanted to bang? Yeah, <laughs> so Erith, Eris, uh, somewhere in the middle of the game-ish, she's going to like leave the party for an extended bit. If you make her your primary um, healer, yeah. then you're going to be out of luck for a bit. Right. So don't use her as your, because that's what, my first time playing through Final Fantasy, <laughs> you're she's like, my main healer. Shit, where the fuck did she? And then I couldn't <laughs> use her as my main healer, <laughs> and... And it, you're I was irritated, man. And then the, the other people weren't leveled up. I hadn't leveled up their, their healing and all sorts of stuff. It's annoying. <laughs> D- F- Diogo and Dan, right? Diogo says 50 hours was mental back in the day. And Dan goes, I could do 50 hours in one afternoon back in the day. Yeah, mate. Dan knows what's up. Uh, when you're a kid, 50 hours is like, this is my, oh my God, so much gaming. Yeah. Could you imagine doing that now? Imagine if someone's Try like, finding 50 here's, hours 50, in a here's month. a 50-hour <laughs> game, stream it. I've, ugh. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. I'm going to stream some Doom probably maybe tomorrow yes. or something. No, Ooh. wait, not tomorrow. Because we're recording tomorrow. We are recording tomorrow. Because James went and got Wu flu or whatever it's called. Wuhan flu or yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck it is. Uh, and he's literally and dying of super AIDS. Yes. And ruined our podcast plans. Actually, I should take... I'm going to find out if he's okay. He's probably still dying, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tweet him. Jack goes... He was in the chat earlier, actually. Jack goes, what's the difference in USB ports? So, USB ports... Um, I will say, Eddie's going to stream Final Fantasy in a thong, boys. That's right. Get Mate, ready for that. Don't do we strip might get to Final Fantasy. <laughs> also, oh, fuck, I forgot. Because I remember when um, you found your first Phoenix down in fun, in the demo. Yeah. And I was like, of course, it's a Phoenix. Of course it resurrects. Yeah. How do you know this? But I forgot. 
I've been playing Final Fantasy I, since the 90s. I should have been able to guess it, but it wasn't as obvious to me. But also, I can imagine you were like, well, of, of course, no, how do you know? It's got Phoenix in the name, you dig. But as soon as he said it, I was like, oh, Phoenix, rise from the ashes. Okay, I get it now, I get it. Um, the difference in USB ports. So USB-A is the standard square one and one. Actually, I think USB-A is actually the one that looks like an A. It's a printer cable. Yeah. Um, USB-B... Uh, USB-C is that uh, the little round one that you get that can go in any way upside down shape form and also Which very high bandwidth. Because the USB-B, yeah. no wait, C? B. What's the one that's 50-50? B. Uh, B, I think. B. Yes. 50-50 chance you'll get it in. Yeah. So one in two should only take you maximum two takes. Yes. Seven. Is seven, so, uh, my record, uh, seven. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to look at this. <laughs> You're like, yeah, no joke. It took, once took me se seven, and I looked at it, and then, oh. <laughs> so I hate those. USB C is one faster, like it's got a better connection bit rate thing, which I don't really understand. It just makes better things to do with the surface area that it contacts. Maybe yeah. I'm not 100 percent on that, but also you can't put them in upside down. Yeah, and also it's got more robust to so the male female part. If you put one in a bit too fast, you can uh, wobble the um the connector on the yeah. USB Bs. And it just it mucks with things, but the USB C it's it's steadier, sturdier, and so you're just not you're not gonna find that you are ruining your connections. Uh, Is that the A? Hold on a second. Okay, so my bad. I got that the wrong way around. So USB A is, a is the, squ the, the square, the rectangle one. one. Yeah, yeah. And B is the one that goes into printers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Transferring speeds, yes. The, tr the speeds, speeds are definitely the thing. Yeah, the camera went black for a second because it turns off every little bit. I just want to check on something because my copy of Doom Eternal is supposed to be coming any day now. And I heard I got the confirmation yesterday. Go get it. If you've got it, forget my stream. We're flying out. <laughs> I'm, not even I'm not even joking. I would love it. I've just done a full day at work. But if he's got Doom Eternal, we're firing it up. And we're going to put it on super death mode. Boys, how, how much... Uh, did seeing that stream change your opinion on the PS5? Was anybody on the on the fence or wasn't really sure? Or is everybody still sure you knew what you were getting? Somebody kept saying, I forget uh, who it was, that the, the Xbox had more like teraflops and the CUs. Uh, is that something you're going to, that's pushing you more towards the Xbox? Or does it not really matter to you? Is it just a point of comparison? I got to say, personally, as a Halo fan, Halo is not enough to, to make me buy an Xbox. That's just personal, man. Doom, uh, mindless shoot, just another mindless shooter, man. Just another one. Yeah, Halo's not enough. Halo Infinite, is it? It's just not enough to, just not enough to get me to go back to Xbox, especially after they fricked me so many times. And also, some really fast laptop can attach an external GPU. What do you mean, Dan? You can, you can do a, an external GPU. For the record, boys, although we are like on the PS5 bandwagon. We would get Xbox. If Xbox was just by far and away the best console and and had the better exclusives and stuff, we would go. We don't really have any loyalty. The real reason we're we're such big uh, Sony fanboys is because the Playstations have all been reliable. They've had great exclusives. And, you know, like Xbox keeps freaking up. And Xbox literally only has Halo. And some of those have been, have been real flops. You know, The Last of Us, God of War, all of those titles, Red Dead. Like I'm... They haven't been flops, you know? Xbox Gonk Droid takes the L. What? Solid. Point. It didn't come. I hate you it so didn't come. much. <laughs> I I'm thought... leaving. That's it, I'm out. I quit. I quit. Split. Give me my Patreon money, I'm out. I really thought it was coming. I really thought it was. That I'm would sorry. have been sick. It would have been great. Great way to I would have been like, babe, I'm not coming home. Yeah, I. I got the I got the corona. I'm gonna have to spend the next two weeks at Ed's. I'm I like, got the sorry. old corona, babe. I got the corona. <laughs> sorry, I got the corona man. Real bad. Now you should just do what James does. Goes home, tells his wife, "Is dinner ready yet?" <laughs> she says, "She says no," and then beats her. And and get out. Get out. Of I here. gotta say, somebody used that as the video link with the sound and everything yeah. to, as a response to him on Twitter, and I wasn't expecting. It. I played it. I kind of knew what it was, but I played it. Um, in bed at like one in the morning and cracked up <laughs> to a point where I'm not even joking my chick rolled over and, and like tried to kick me out of bed she's like shut up shut and kick me fuck up it was so funny <laughs> get out what a dick tease Eddie you can't do that to us 
This guy. I'm sorry, man. Do I have to work with? It might be tomorrow then that we get some like Talking Doom of Dick Teasers, though, you and Mark Cerny as well. Yeah. What the heck, Mark? I know. We told you last night when you were like, boys, what am I supposed to say? Yeah. We said, Mark, make sure you tell them the teraflops. Mm -hmm. Make sure mm -hmm. you tell them, uh, you know, the, all the, the, the stuff. RAM, the, the RAM, the CPU, the GPU. CPU. Mention the PSVR 2 stuff if you really want to, but let's hit the price. Make sure you hit the price. The problem is we told him last. And he was like, I must have run out of time. He must have. He, they, they were, he, Mark, you could see in the reflection in his glasses. Time the, management. The Sony guys were like, wrap it up, wrap it up. And he was I'm just like, get, uh, uh, sorry, Shep, sorry, Eddie. I'm going to get the PS5, especially since PS always has the better games. That's what I was saying. The, the <clears> PlayStation <throat> exclusives are just miles and head and shoulders above. The Xbox and I love Halo, but it's just not enough. And they've had some bad titles, man. And See, a couple bad titles. You know, things these things are denominator heavy. You know, you have two bad titles and four good ones. That's two. <clears throat> this two is the game. This is the big issue for me is that play Xbox has announced that they've acquired so many studios. They've acquired so many studios, but none which that isn't, we know. isn't guaranteed that we're gonna like get something great from them, right? But we are less than six months now away from these consoles, which is a scary thing to think about, by the way. <laughs> Save up those pennies. Um, and we still don't have any next-gen games being announced for this. We know for a fact that we're going to get up version, we're going to get the graphical updates course when they will. come out. And with PlayStation, at least, we know we've got two games that we can yeah. play again. Death Stranding's guaranteed to have a spec on one, guaranteed. which is going to be gorgeous to watch. And with Xbox... It's Halo. That's it. That's all they have. The other thing is that... It's um, not enough. It's I not think, enough. I think we mentioned this on the True Gamer podcast, but this is like the only generation of consoles that is specifically being held back by the prior generation because, and we're used to this, when a new console comes out, the new games, in general, only come out for that. That's the way we've done it for, what, 20, 25 years of, of regular at-home console gaming. Mm -hmm. Now, for the first time ever, really... The first year, at least, is coming out for both. Yeah. And that might also hinder those games, because at some point, if you know you have to make a game toned down, then there's only so far you can push it up mm. before you're out of bounds. Yeah, out of bounds to the first one. So that was an interesting point as well that you may, you missed just at the beginning. They were talking about the... I'm going to call it the refractory period and whatnot. But the, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just because I want to make it sound funny. Yeah. But the period in between launching a, a system yeah. and how quickly games it's can, can and... get into that flow yeah, yeah. and get hit the ground running. For the PS4, uh, they said it was about one to two months and whatnot. They've managed to get that down to less than a month in the PS5. Okay, okay. So we might be seeing next-gen level quality games Mate, right out of the game. That would be legit. That would be quite and the, sick, right? the very first thing I'm expecting, <clears throat> by the way, and I, I know we said we're going to get Death Stranding and, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. Turn it to fucking Max. <clears throat> I want to see that in, like, 11. Yeah. By the way, I just want to say thank you as well to all the new patrons that we've got as thank well. Thank you, Those boys. all really, really cool, I bros. just want to... We missed a couple of comments. <clears throat> what is with your, your mouse? It's all weird. Uh, Vuta, Vuta, Vulture, Vuta, Vuta, Vuta. Where did where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, so oh, oh, you're going too the fast. wrong way. It's the wrong you're way. Going too fast. I hate you so much. Right there. No, he said something just above that. Okay, once let me do that. Yeah, you do bit, this. It's a it's a clicky. Well, here we go. Your mouse is inverted. You have an inverted mouse. It's but you not. Haven't got me for being inverted. It's not inverted. It's the correct way. He said. Oh, he said the PS5 price is looking promising <clears throat> from the conference. That's the thing. The thing about the because he it's he, the he hit SSD. on it. Yeah, he hit on it. Yes, and we said that as well. We said because the rumor came out that it will be under now confirmed under one terabyte of SSD, and I had said price war. That is yeah. the only way to do it. And the fact that they went 800, which is Rounding up a terabyte. Yeah, that's the thing. If they and said how fast it is. If they said five hundred, I would have been like, <sighs> "That's some last gen tech. That's Isn't some it? last gen specs." Mm, but it's more than one, more than five hundred. It's closer to one terabyte than than ever. I think it's okay. I think it's a good spot. I think yeah, it's a yeah. very good spot. <clears throat> Dan said, said, "Can we can we even say the games are at either console? Well, we know we just know that Naughty Dog. You know, we know that." Um, <clears throat> Uh, who makes God of War? Why am I blanking on this? Uh, Sony Santa Monica. Sony Santa Monica. Like, we know that these places make this stuff and we know stuff's in the works, right? Um, Hellblade 2 did look good. I haven't seen Hellblade it. 2 tempted you. I, I saw it. some stuff of that. It didn't tempt me too much, but uh, we'll see more of it. Literally, Fable is the only franchise that speaks to me. <clears throat> we, haven't, we haven't had anything about 
there's rumours of Fable coming, but every year we hear that rumour. Fable's <laughs> a serious shout. Yeah. But like you say, we've heard, I've heard Fable since Fable 2. I've heard Fable rumours because I'm a big mm. Fable fanboy. You I just love said something really interesting. <laughs> Classic Eddie being a closeted inverter. <laughs> On your mouse as well. It's no, disgusting. It's, I scroll down and it pulls the page down. You're that makes idi- sense. You're an idiot. That makes sense, you're, bitch. You're so dumb. <coughs> I guarantee you get a fighter pilot in here. He goes, what, what's wrong with this mouse? No, the fighter pilot, fighter pilot. By your logic, it should no, be, oh, inver- that's fine. I understand that. Down, you're an idiot. Look, get Tyler in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's upside down, so it's all the same. You said something that the first, uh, the only real exclusive that he was really looking forward to was Titanfall 1. One, yeah. which actually is really interesting because I agree, Titanfall 2 was horribly mishandled and then that team went and made Apex which is console yeah. irrelevant, you know, it's not exclusive to anything yeah. and it's free anyway agnostic, yeah so it's a solid point I played uh, Titanfall 2 by the way recently, it was free on PS Plus fantastic game, it's a good game Fantastic. It, this is the worst thing, it is a really good game mm. and it was horrendously mishandled and what was it Black Ops? Three that it competed. No, with? this was even this is the stupid thing. It came out with Battlefield, Battlefield, and that was both EA published them. That's it. Why That's did it. they do that? That's it. That's what it. What is wrong with that? <laughs> and of course they're going to pimp Battlefield because Battlefield yeah. Z is one of EA's biggest earners. And it's like an established franchise. People yeah. know Battlefield exactly. Which, by the way, what happened to Battlefield? It, it used to be our too. thing. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, like, here's the thing. Why would we ever play Battlefield mm. when we have Battlefront Two? And in, I suppose if I could be asked to buy COD, we could have COD plus Dooms coming out. Forget it. Ba- Battlefield. Is anyone actually playing Battlefield? Because I haven't booted up a Battlefield game since Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is where we really played. And there was Battlefield 1, the World War 1 version. Oh, and yeah, that, I did play that. We played it a bit, but it lost steam. It was just too slow. Very it didn't quickly. really make sense. And they did a, ba- a World War 2 version, but at that point, I'd lost interest in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Eddie is using a Mac anyway. The superior Mac that brought you this stream. True. And the one that will be bringing you 1080, 60 FPS when it comes to Doom Eternal. Nice. Because I worked that out nicely recently. Uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. You need to tell me that setting where it's going through the hardware, not software. Yeah. Because that, that will help. Because I was streaming Doom, and Doom's not that intensive, but my, my Mac was chugging It was like, It was like, I'm with ships. In very important comment. Go on. When I had a Mac, the scrolling was odd to get used to. See, there you go. See? He said, you scroll incorrectly. Vuter, I corrected an incorrect if feature. If they make the DualShock 5 really great quality, almost as a pro controller, and keep the PS5 at a cheap price. So that's something as well that's very interesting. The Xbox Series X doesn't come with a chargeable battery included in the controller. It's going to be those AA batteries that you yep. can still stick into it. Little primitive, but there is the advantage that the if the uh, batteries die, you can just replace it's cheap it. Cheap on your end, yeah. yeah. But then again, my my console, my controller, I just plug it in. Exactly, and there's rumors that there's going to be those back buttons, pro level uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things on the PS5 controller, the DualShock Five. Now, if I'm, oh my, if I am, uh, who's who are the guys I bought that controller from? Scuff. If I'm a scuff company, I'm really I'm feeling the pinch. If that's true, here's the thing as well. Forget haptic triggers. Nobody cares. Mm. It's just an extra. Added, that's a ton of cost. It's that, nice. That bit no one over, needs it. Overdoing it. It, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't really improve. As you know, the the tuck pad in the middle. We don't need it. It mm. turned out no one ever used it. Mm. It's a glorified map button. Yeah, it literally is the only thing. I think that's the only thing it's ever done in yeah. any game for me, and I hardly use it anyway. Because I never look at the map. Why would I look at the map? I'm going to explore everything you anyway. Start running over Being that Being lost way. is half of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, there's something shiny. But the thing is, those back buttons, they change the game for first person shooters. You yeah. can like jump and drop shot and all that stuff without having to take your hands off. All I wanted was those two buttons on the back. Yeah. That's it. I don't want haptic. I don't need that touchpad in the middle. Just give me a cheap controller with two extra buttons on the back. Done. Yeah. Corsair yeah. bought scuff. Oh, did they? Did Interesting. They? Tough times for Corsair then. Corsair? Yeah. Corsair? Wrong. Corsair. Wrong time to be buying a company like that. Right in the middle of a plague. Do you know what I was thinking? <laughs> right in the middle of a plague. Although, actually, that might be great for gaming sales. True, true. I mean, you do have to take the delivery, and it does have to go through a quarantine section, has there is all suits that. and stuff like that. But, mate, we played... Uh, we played. What is that game? The Division? We played Division 2. We're it's used true. to walking through those things to get our games exactly. and our missions and stuff. <laughs> you just have to walk slowly through a blue UV light and then that's done. Sorry. I hate that so much. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's like, I'm running, I'm running, and stop. 
Ren stop. Max, I actually agree with Max. <clears throat> Having to put batteries in in a char- in a controller these days is ridiculous. It is pretty. That's the thing. I do. There is something to be said about being able to swap out your battery. But has anyone ever opened up a DualShock 4? Not that you should have to open up your DualShock 4, but I've done it. And it's literally one clip on the, the main board and then a new battery in there. Yeah. And it's a perfect slot for It's so easy. Now, granted, then you have to have a place to buy the, the batteries and stuff like that. It is more hassle for sure. But it seems so basic and so rudimentary. It's so... Uh. And also, look. Just give me rechargeable. Everything's rechargeable. This is the thing as well. Those rechargeable batteries, they do wear out. They have a certain number of cycles. So my one's down to like maybe an hour and a half. Mm. But guess what? I just plug it in when I'm gaming. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Not a problem. I will say that is it. Uh, the only... Uh, yeah, I can go a day without, without needing to charge. There you go. That's right. See? Uh, Jack goes, I only have so many fingers. I don't need six buttons on the back and the top so of my <laughs> controller. It's underneath. <laughs> give me give me a PlayStation controller. I've got it here. You don't have a scuff, do you? Not a scuff, <clears throat> So what it is, is instead of, uh, you, so let's say I would do circle and X. Under here, you would have the buttons here. So while you're playing, you can just tap them. So you don't have to do this. You don't have to, to jump. You just hit jump. It's so convenient. It's so convenient. And also, I love the haptic feed that you get from that. It's sort of like this satisfying click, 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 click when you're going into it. It's different to these kind of buttons. It's oh, yeah. more like... I can't explain it to you. In fact, it's more like pressing the R3 buttons, those kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's That's a it. satisfying click, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, nice Did this just turn off? I feel like this just turned off. No, it's okay. Still going. All right, good. We're good. We're gaming. Yeah. D- don't look at the camera. They don't, they don't like you. They're here for me. It's done. Weird. Scuff's been dead because of their stupid prices. Anyway, yeah, mate. Back in the day, back in the day where I was living to game. Yeah. Maybe <clears throat> quid for a controller that would let me, like, super drop shot and stuff. Cool. These days, fuck. It was a, a novelty <clears throat> as well because no one was doing anything. It made like you a legit that. gamer. You were like I'm MLG. It's like, bruv, this is what the pros use. And I'm of course, pro. of course, you had that G Fuel. You're oh. like you're like sitting there with your shaker with your G Fuel. You got your scuff controller your with your KD, Astros, <laughs> your KDs. Like your the only thing you care about. It's like, bruv, bruv. Today, What's guess your KD? what? What's your KD? I'm a zero point eight KD. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I swear to God, if I was un- anything under like whatever I was on, like I would not buy a scuff controller if I was under a one KD. If you can't, if you can't break even on a regular controller, hardware is not your issue. I'm just, I'm just saying, and that's nothing against the. Thank you for that personal attack. That is nothing against the guys like you that feed me nukes. Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But- <laughs> But yeah, that's the uh, that was the thing. That was it was so expensive. It and was. the thing is, they didn't drop the price. You, you think in the beginning it was expensive because R and D was expensive, but now it's just soldering. It's just, well, yeah, and drilling out the base of a thing. But now it's like still expensive, and it's like, well, um, you're just going to be priced out of the market. <laughs> Uh, what was Max saying here? You only have to plug it in for a few minutes anyway. It never feels like a hindrance. Takes far longer to find some new AA batteries. That's true. There you go. It's true. So Jack's saying that he's seen the bottom uh, buttons before, but it doesn't really, it's not struggle to hit those buttons. I agree. Especially if you're playing like, if you're playing a game like Final Fantasy or something, it's not a big deal. It's not. But if you're really trying to push your KD on Call of Duty or something, something really quick and Twitch based, mm. you know, where you need the quick reactions, then actually, it actually makes a noticeable difference. Not having to, like suddenly being able to, to aim as you're literally jumping, like mm-hmm. without that lag phase, makes a difference. I agree, yeah. And maybe, look, maybe it's you win an extra one in 20 gun battles. But that can be the difference between like that 1.8 and making the 2KD. And also, it does add to the enjoyment as well. You're, you're solidly... It's so satisfying to jump, turn, shoot a guy, yes. drop shot, shoot the next guy. Especially if you're only using the Olympia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, uh, let me get the... Uh, sorry, let me just move this out of the way. I just wanted to see our... <clears throat> Grab that. Maybe 2 KDs yeah. are one, at least, isn't it? I think you're positive. I was, just, I was just fucking around, yeah. I'm just curious. I mean, I, it is. I, I know it is. Because I remember being quite proud mm-hmm. of myself at the end of um, Black Ops 1. My KD was like a, still like a 1.2, 1.3, somewhere in there. And I was super happy about it. I had to not camp, but play really defensive. But I managed it. 
So I was real happy with that. Just a quick question, guys, on technical wise and whatnot. How has the stream been? Has it been like smooth and satisfying and stuff like that? Audio, everything synced like that. Um, these are the new settings that I've been trying and whatnot, and hopefully everything's been going good. And this has been a, like a live test. Yeah, five percent, mate. That, that's what mate. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, mate. Ten eighty. We can stream in summer now. You know what I mean? <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, inside joke, when it came to E3 last year, we streamed and it almost killed my laptop. Oh, legit. It was like, I'm too hot. The CPU, <laughs> the CPU, just on the basic functions, was chugging at like 80%. Yeah. It was bad. Like, we had to, we actually bought a fan yeah. to put across the back of it. It's like, it needs air. My girl needs my air. Days. <laughs> my days. Diogo saying Epic has been it's been streamed, not noticed a single hitch. Thank you, these fucking settings are it's sick. Just I the talent of that. the presenters. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do we anything, can't do about, anything about, about that. that. If we show our penises, that might. Well, oh, let's do it. Uh, mm. But if you guys like, on Patreon, there's that tier specifically for you, the exactly. noise tier. Exactly. Sixty nine. We actually right. should record something so that people can see there is something there. <laughs> and I have the idea. Yes, we have We've a very idea. good idea. The problem is, what I don't want to have happen is like one of our subs that's like fourteen. And it's like they get like a ton of Christmas money and birthday money all at once. They get like a thousand pounds. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna support these guys. That's the and thing. they do it, and it's like what I had in mind. It, I think what we should do is record the video, hold on to it, and then we're like, "Excuse me, sir, can you please send us some evidence that you are over 18?" Yeah. In fairness, you gave a flashlight to how old is Max? I mean, we didn't send it out, I but mean, he does, in theory, possess. You had, you had to bring that up, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> bring it up. It's in shot. It's in the it's shot. In shot. What's up? There we go. Right there. <laughs> Same for the dick. Let's see. Dick tea is right sheep there. Sheep streams been going good. Brilliant. That's the best thing that we could uh, that right. we could ask for. Dick tea's tier. <laughs> so he needs to learn a thing or two, mate. We've said we'll do PR for these companies. All they have to do is do exactly what we say because we said it. Exactly. No questions asked. Plus pay our six figure salaries. Exactly. Easy. Exactly. Easy. <laughs> Shep showing us his most below. Aha, aha, here you go. Oh boy. It wasn't an event presenter. What? Actually, I gotta say, Mark Cerny, who. Oh yeah, but Brad Dan, uh, Mark was epic. It wasn't an event presenter. Yeah. <clears throat> Mark Cerny, who isn't like a public speaker mm -hmm. per se, has a very. I enjoy it, but it's, it's very soothing mm -hmm. to the point where. I wouldn't want him presenting at <clears throat> E3, for example. Yeah. I need that um, that excitement there. But for this, this was quite chill. I wasn't like stressed th out by the tech. I think this was perfect. This, this was, was really good. This was... We was don't have Mark at E3. Well, I mean, we're not going to E3. Yeah, you know no what E3. I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. The thing is, Mark is... Um, he is a systems architecture. He understands the tech of things and whatnot. And it helps when you know someone's not... When someone's saying a word and they're not reading it from a script... Mm. They actually know what it means. And then they add that little bit. Actually, in, in testing, we found this, mm. which he's, he did that maybe like five or six times. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. He's actually like a genius coding dude. When I was watching it, I was like, is he? I mean, he has his, that laptop there. And I'm sure there's screens behind the course, camera and stuff yeah, like that. Absolutely. But a lot of what he's saying seems to be coming right out. Just yeah. this confidence. Like he he was um, the one that wrote yeah. everything. A lot of it was, him. you know, read this point and then he would add his experience yeah. onto it and that helps when the person that's presenting the thing knows what they're talking about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i need he his voice fantastic. during <laughs> i need his voice during sex he has a <laughs> he has a narrator or podcast voice sam i think we're both thinking ps5 and i think we're i'm going to talk for you because Go no on. one cares about your actual opinion that's true we're thinking ps5 mainly for a few reasons one sony hasn't screwed us as consistently as xbox as microsoft have right and they have and i was pushing last year and i pushed hard yeah. to switch because i'm a big halo fanboy and i was like shut up get back in your cave and then you know we even with the playstation probably being like a hair not too much but a hair less powerful the rumors are that it's performing as good or sometimes five to ten percent better than the xbox you know for this coming generation or because of optimization because of optimization and, and the way architecture is rooted and all mm -hmm. sorts of crazy tech stuff that we don't understand but the exclusives man mm -hmm. the last the of us God of War. I mean, did Xbox announced the features of the Xbox the other day. Yep. PlayStation released Ghost of Tsushima's trailer and release date. 
set the world on fire yeah. with that trailer. And it just shows where the priorities are. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We definitely want to see the tech specs like we did today. We Absolutely. definitely want to see the console we like need we're going to do price. soon. Price as well. I want to actually see. That's the thing. I want to actually see what it looks like. I, yeah. I presume the reason they haven't like shown it. We've seen the dev kit and it's probably that. Yeah. But, or it's just an ordinary box right. and we're like, eh, black In box. summary though, Sam, if you're pretty set on getting the Xbox because all your friends there and stuff, get the Xbox. Yeah. It's going to be a great console, most likely. Yeah. You know, fingers crossed and all that. I just think we're, we're going with the PlayStation. And mm. actually at this point, because of the, the way our friends aged in and out of like consoles, we don't have to worry about who most of our friends are, yes. where they are. So we get to be that freedom of just picking the console we want that's going to do what we want yeah. best. We're at this weird spot at the moment. So like, uh, for our, if we was like younger, we'd be like, okay, our friends, whichever ones nah, they buy. Mark Cerny's being memed as we speak. Pull up some Mark Cerny memes oh, right now. Oh, shit. Link. Viewer, Viewer, link. Send that to us to our Twitter, Twitter. page. Uh, you got our Twitter handles on screen there. Send that to us and I'll put it up on the screen for everyone to yeah, see. Yeah, send it to Ed because he's on camera. Yeah. I like the, the conversations. Orange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. We've got notifications anyway, look, coming out if, of the wazoo. If you're getting, if you're getting the, the Xbox, it's going to be great. You know, it's got 12 teraflops, which is, I think, what did we say? 10.6 is, is for the PS5. <clears throat> so that's a good benchmark. It's going to be more powerful. Then again, we had this with the Xbox uh, 360 versus the PS3. The PS3 was quite a lot more powerful, but didn't perform as good, you know, mm -hmm. to do with systems architecture and, and coding and optimization and stuff. So, but they're both pretty close. They're both more than double the current ps4 pro what's the ps <laughs> what's the uh, xbox one s teraflopage uh i'm not it's five point something isn't it xbox one x no it was um i think it's like six okay so the, six, both both six. are about double the xbox one x uh but also they have it's not just that they like they've got the um this had what do we say sixteen gigs of DDR sixteen gigabytes of DDR six that is a lot that's something really impressive I think the the uh, GDDR six memory is fucking fantastic and also it's the SSD I think is gonna be oh <laughs> yeah chef's kiss plus I like the fact that it, they're gonna do the smart shuffling more of like a hybrid uh, memory system that's a serious backhand no <laughs> that is a backhand. I don't, I don't think that's the way it's going to work out in practice, but that's pretty funny. Yeah. I'll tell you what's funny. I this, love being in this, this middle one's... ground where I'm not taking any of these memes personally, because last generation, I probably would have. Yeah. I'm going to put this up on the screen so everyone can see. I'm going to go to the uh, the watch along thing. But this right here. So the PS5 reveal. Tell me what you guys think. And he's like, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Guys. <laughs> yeah. right, I got it. <laughs> that reminds me of Death Stranding. Yeah. Let's see, what, what were we saying in the comments? Spider-Man sold me on the PS4 back in 2017 and hearing about these other exclusives sealed the purchase. Yeah, I agree. I think PS5, for exclusives, it's the way to go. That's pretty funny. That's pretty, that's pretty funny. Victor, console god tier race. Fair enough. Vuter, Sony about to shut everyone up when it's $200 cheaper than the Xbox Series. Mate, if it's $200 cheaper, they kill Xbox. And I'm not even joking. And I don't want that. I have said every single time that I've been, you know, like digging at Xbox, we need the competition. Desperately, we need the competition. Because mm. otherwise, you know. Uh, Joga says, I literally dropped gaming back in 2013 or, or 14. Mate. That got me too hard right there. The, the new PlayStation is called PlayStation 5. <laughs> have you seen the meme where the guy's like PlayStation 4 and then he clicks it and then scrolls down to the 5? <laughs> Oh, Vita, <sighs> my guy. 10.3 teraflops is what the PS5 is now confirmed to have versus I think it's 12 for the Xbox One, no, Series X, whatever they're calling it. You guys you guys in the chat probably might not know this, but Mate. Crystal Maze was a great TV Mate. show back in the day. Mate. And he showed this off something like this, basically. <laughs> Mate, that's funny. That's, that's funny. good. That's oh, good. God. Okay, so that's the information again yeah, right yeah. there. Zen 2, uh, 8 times Zen 2 cores, AMD architecture, 3.5 gigahertz. That's for the G, uh, CPU, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 10.3 uh, teraflops. 10.3 teraflops. makes a difference. Um, uh, 2.23 2 .2 gigahertz yeah. on the AMD. That's the AMD Ryzen super amazing. Yeah. For the record, Our right? DNA 2, whatever. So the, the, we're getting like this many teraflops, this much gigahertz. But the thing is, I think the way it's all rooted, it's going to perform more than twice as good. That's the important thing, mm. right? With the extra RAM and stuff, it's not just twice as many teraflops. The way it's going to perform and how things are rooted in 
it's going to be so much faster plus with that ssd and being able to have multiple games you know like if you if you just get stuck on skyrim or whatever and you want to boot up cyberpunk or you get stuck on cyberpunk you want to mm. boot up doom eternal just being able to flip, flip, boom, it's up. Just go through it, yeah. It's going to be it's gonna be really good. That's something that they didn't mention in this because this wasn't the place for it. No. But they, they we wanted some features. Like the Xbox has talked about all these features like the quick resume, the, uh, the smart delivery and all this other stuff, which sounds awesome and fantastic in, on th- in theory yeah. on paper. I want to see some of that as well in the, um, in the so PS5. Jack, Jack just said something that I'm, I'm interested in. He said... Uh, not gonna lie, GD, GDDR6 loses me. I get it's graphics related, but not much beyond that. So my question is, what else do you want your gaming, you know, a, peer, a PlayStation or an Xbox to do? Now I use mine for Netflix and all that stuff, but I don't mm. use it to like edit videos or. Mm. Well, the thing is, is that the whole point of the GDDR6 is, the, and it being more advanced than the the latest version that's available, is that the amount of bandwidth. Oh, caught that again. Nice. The amount of bandwidth, which is the amount of data that can go through it, is greatly improved. The yeah. efficiency at which it's been improved is also fantastic. For example, I bought a new router today, and it's got Wi-Fi 6. Oh, shit, there's a bit of Ooh. a weird thing on the camera right here. We've Let me got just that start red again. <clears throat> it's, it does this sometimes. Let me just start this again. Oh, oh we a, killed the camera. We killed the, the ca- camera. It's dead. It's, it's dead, ladies it's and gentlemen. It's second dead. It's death. It's death. Start Mate, like, you got the new camera. You also got the uh, what's that that fancy thing down there for called for the streaming? Uh oh, the um, ah oh, fuck, what's that called? The docking station. The docking docking station. station. That's improved a lot of things as a well. A lot. Like, bottlenecks are a real thing mm-hmm. when it comes to this stuff. So, so the GDDR6. That's what's going to be the main thing is going to be improved right there. I bought that Wi-Fi six router, yeah. which. For those of you guys that don't know Wi-Fi 6, instead of it being one truck carrying one amount of data to one device, it's one truck carrying multiple d- pieces yeah. of data to go to multiple devices. It's so much more efficient, and that's what happens with now, the new generation of stuff. I'm going to say that was really inconvenient for me having to reconnect to a new Wi-Fi. It, I, I mean, you are putting a new put so, password again. In fact, we didn't even have to tell you just airdropped it to me. But <laughs> even did. still, even still, I open up Instagram, and I didn't see my booty chicks instantly... I'm, I'm heated. I'm I heated. opened my Instagram and I was like, where's my Shep's booty shorts? <laughs> Where is it? OnlyFans, not Instagram. Oh, sorry, my bad. You're on the wrong app. Tech issues. The camera's the decided camera to give up on us. <laughs> it's the VHS effect. I got to say, no joke, since Anime Club, really, where Dan's been turning up a lot, yeah. Dan has the right opinions on a lot of things. Oh, and ever since Anime Club. <laughs> yes, he does. And, uh, and he gets all my inside jokes. Dan is a top tier, bro. Just just because he gets all the inside jokes. So you, Dan, Dan I'm has taken been a long Dan in time the divorce. friend of mine. I'm taking Dan in you the divorce. You can't take my Dan. <laughs> I'm also going to take. I'm going to take Chris because he gets the anime as well. I'm taking all the weebs. Dan, come over here. Come over here. Forget what your mother's yeah. saying. Forget no, so, what your mother's you get saying. the two birthdays, the two Christmases. <laughs> I'll buy you a puppy. <laughs> Uh, I'll buy you a PlayStation 5. I'll buy it with one of my PlayStation 5 money. <laughs> Last thing we need is an accident in, accidental innuendo and we've got the full set. What? Oh shit, wait. Did we say something really bad? <laughs> That's going to get edited. <laughs> as I've got all of you here, boys, who saw my You Should Be Watching video for the anime? Which, by what the way, is it called again? It's called Keep Your Hands Off Isaac Ken. I just called it Isaac Ken because the, the title's in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... It's on, it's on that anime club watch list. So mm-hmm. once we finish, we're going to do, if anybody wants to get started on it, because why not? We're doing all four seasons of My Hero Academia. Then we're going to watch Guren Lagan. Then we're going to watch uh, Keep Your Hands Off Isaac King, because I feel like it's a, a nice thing. Those two are, some, mm-hmm. are great, and they're in the shonen uh, action-based things. This will be fun. We'll watch that. Then we'll watch a couple of anime movies instead, so you won't have to do all the season mm-hmm. timing. We're going to watch some... I think we're going to watch How's Moving Castle... Just, you don't These care. Are all names. I'm They're just bangers. Thinking. How's Moving Castle? Maybe Spirited Away, Akira because you have to, and Ghost in the Shell because you have to, because that's like anime cinema. That's real cinema. <coughs> true cinema. That's, that's it. True cinema. <coughs> uh, check your Twitter DMs. Check your Twitter DMs. I will check my Twitter DMs. Where, where are we? Where are we? We talking about me? We were talking about the. Yeah, Diogo, did you like it? Because that is watch Blurxis. Blurxis is really good. Uh, but when I was watching it, there wasn't enough out and I stopped and haven't got back into it. We may add it in at the end. Mainly, I'm just trying to show him like oh. you know, perfect anime, you know? Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put it up on the screen Let's so we can it. see some people here. Let's see this. Give me a, a quick second. 
These new shows are shorter <clears throat> too, right? Oh, so Gurren Lagann is 26 episodes for the whole thing. Cowboy Bebop, I think, is 31. But that's the whole thing. Start to finish. All of it. And I the movies know. are like an hour and a half, two hours. So it's not like, you know, a major thing. So I think once we've done a couple of series, uh, then then we'll do a couple of movies to give everybody a break from having to time everything. And I think, uh, keep your hands off Isaacins, I predict it's going to be somewhere in like 15 episodes. Not Probably not much more than that. Oh, God. And let me turn up the volume oh, more God. than a sec. Are we sure we want to be playing this without <laughs> hearing it? Have you heard it first? I haven't I would hear it first. Uh, change that to uh, Soundflower Channel 2. Channel's been deleted. <laughs> <laughs> My days. I wasn't expecting that. That's okay. funny. Let me go back. There's That's a couple funny. here. Laomo, I didn't know. I didn't want to waste your time talking for an hour and specs on the console again. Did you just say Laomo? It's Lamau, fam. It's Lamau. Yeah, actually, I don't know why Give I said that. Give me what I want. There we go. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. <laughs> Give me what I want. <laughs> we need a price. That's what we need. Hold on, let me mute my stream over here one second. What are you doing? Why do you suck so bad? There's my the stream running in the background. There we go. Ear rape incoming. We recognize that we have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. We recognize <laughs> that we that have funny. been... I have no idea what that's from. I really hope that's like sports talk and not yeah. like some social issue and we're just laughing at this dude. It could be funny. It's like they're actually talking about rape in certain cultures in a certain thing. Oh, it's like the and Rodney we're King just, event. And we're just like, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. PlayStation 5, you know. <laughs> What's this? People before and after watching the PS5 conference. <laughs> <laughs> Writing that down. Like. <laughs> true, uh, true. Oh, the toaster one is killing me. Toast is funny. <laughs> PS5, thank you, Mark. <laughs> a few moments later. Oh, they wrote it out. Uh, Laomo. Uh. Laomo. This is what it's all about. Laomo. That's how it's La said. Lamao, fam. Laomo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wake up, it's <laughs> real. And this was the go. thing I was telling you about where they render in the view of the, the player right, and right, whatnot. Right, 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 right. But this is the thing. It said it. Deep dive into system architecture. Oh, yeah. By architecture. This wasn't, <laughs> this isn't an E3 or, you know, this was, this is all sysadmin type shit. It's no, like going, okay, we're going to be talking about extremely in-depth things about the human anatomy and the whole uh, glucogen bond. Oh, this was a... Uh, imagine, this cool. is the thing. Imagine you tune into like, a Mercedes engineering like peer review session expecting yeah. it to be top gear. Yeah. No one's pulling power slides, bruv. They're talking about the so, the y-axis torsional forces on piston <laughs> rings or some shit. So when they go to Libya and drive uh, two hundred dollar cars, right. why they do that? <laughs> Stephen A is a sport analyst for ESPN. Okay, great. So it was sports. Well, the answer is no. Well, the answer is no. Are we going to get well, a console? The answer is funny. <laughs> well, the answer is no. That's funny. Anyway, these are funny. Thank you, Vuta, for sending them in. It's usually about sports teams not performing to their expectations. We've been hoodwinked. And that's that's pretty good. PS5 announced on PS design of the console. Uh, presenters, no. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, boy. These are pretty good. Ooh, that's... I didn't see that coming as well. He said, don't worry, I won't get you all in trouble. Thank you so much, Vuta, for being so cool. <laughs> These are the people in the crowd. I was gonna say, I actually they was looked gonna say, fake. They did. <laughs> I blame the marketing for PS5 reveal. It seemed like it was going to be more exciting in the road to PS5 title. Uh, they announced it in with enthusiasm. Dank Frank. I don't know if it was ultra the... fast boost, no load screens, ultra high speed streaming. That is basically what he said, and he yeah. could have trimmed it down. But again, this was a this was a hardware spec thing for nerds. Yep. Marks, I sunk into my seat when I heard that. Where's Mardok's comment? And, and why is everybody... What? So, FMA, Dan, is is on the list. However, because it is slightly longer, and although it's great, I'm trying to show, like, rel ideally shorter type things that get into it very quickly. Now, I love FMA. I actually like both versions of it, the anime. But um, it is on it, but it's just a bit longer. Like, as well, and the things I hear even said, like, do Naruto. Naruto is very long, and if we were to do Naruto, I think I would kill it. We'd watch 80 episodes, and we wouldn't do it in one thing. Right. And then, as far as you're concerned, it ends. <clears throat> so, like, because the Game there, of Thrones There thing, is literally, like... like, 380 episodes of filler. So, so, 
again, like I say, Game of Thrones. If you're going to show someone Game of Thrones, it just ends at season five. Yeah, they never made any more. Shit, Doesn't you know, suck? sucking. Sometimes it happens, man. Sometimes right? that just Doesn't happens. That suck, right there. you know. Um, I want to go back to uh, Dan's comment as well. Ed will always have the Friday night podcast from like eight years ago, the Bitch Please podcast. Hey, bitch, Woo! Please. Those are the days sat in my mum's kitchen. Not Mardox, Modorox. Bruv, how did you say his name wrong? I didn't even see it. I'm sorry, you said his name wrong. How can you and say it? even on screen. How can you say a word that you've seen on screen that pro- isn't actually a word wrong? How could I misread something that wasn't even on screen? Laomo, bruv. Laomo. Yeah, Naruto <laughs> was like 15 years of, of anime. I remember starting watching that in like year seven when I was in school. Yeah. When I was like 11. So what's that? <laughs> like 2001. Something like that. That was the only important thing that happened in 2001 as well, actually. I started watching Naruto. There's no other significant event. No uh, other things, so. no, no. No, I started watching that at the beginning of school, so like somewhere in September, I think. <laughs> Early September. Um, very long, here comes One Piece. Don't joke, because I would watch all of One Piece, including the bullshit filler, again. And I've seen joke. it twice. <laughs> I've seen it all the way through twice and i would start again if you really were serious about it i would start again and watch it with you not i made even that joking. joke you said not even joking what is it like 500 episodes you said saying that Bruv, we're on 920 episodes or so right now and there is a good bit someone of save me it's like four or five hundred episodes of filler in that as well Fucking hell. the problem the real problem with filler <sighs> this is the real problem with filler is they stretch out random things you know like in dragon ball z you've seen dragon ball z right mm-hmm. where the filler in that is just extra minutes of, of shouting. Last time when Dragon Ball Z, it goes two minutes longer than it needs to. And then right. Goku powers up for three episodes yelling before yeah. he goes Super Saiyan, yeah, right? Yeah. In the problem with... So that you can kind of skip. With like One Piece and Naruto, instead of like 20, 20 minutes of anime, mm. it comes down to like one minute or two minutes buried in there somewhere that's actually important to the story. So you couldn't skip mm. five episodes and come back into it. You do need to know those minutes. <clears throat> What I'm really waiting That's for... That's really gay for them to do that. What I'm really waiting <clears throat> for is someone with extreme levels of autism <laughs> to go through... <laughs> Just chop them up. ...and tell you, like, this is what you need to watch and he, these are the timestamps and then make something where you, it just plays it for you and you can get through because really, right. Naruto's maybe 300 episodes long. It's not... That is long, <laughs> but it's not that long. 900 cut down to 300. Yeah, so... It's a third of his time. Naruto oh Naruto is not better than One Piece. Don't even get me started. Listen, you have your show, Anime Club. Say, get off of here. Early Naruto. This is the true gamer Naruto, shit right Early here. Naruto is really good. And then he kind of forgets his own rules and goes a bit Dragon Ball Z with like power levels. And ultimately it boils down to who's got the bigger Chidori or Rasengan or who's got the best Aijutsu. We needed hard work. That's what made Naruto so great. And then someone said something about watch Bleach. Frick Bleach. Bleach is good up until after once we get past Soul Society, it lost all meaning, everything. It stopped making sense, and 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 fucking Ichigo is everything. He's a Quincy and a and a Hollow, and my days, it's awful. Jack's like, and oh I no, it. I wanted to like it. But... Jack's like, oh no, we've strolled into anime podcast. Oh no, <laughs> when did we get here? We'll get away from anime. <laughs> so we'll go. We'll come back to gaming. <laughs> Oh, Naruto stop being good and also we're not touching Boruto and if anybody says watch Naruto and then Boruto frick you it's not happening it's like Russian Victor Sheps 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 <laughs> Sheps <laughs> Sheps you fucking weeb <laughs> I'm a connoisseur actually what's funny is I don't even consider myself a connoisseur like I'm not like, I don't really you're just don't... a hentai connoisseur that's different of course different exactly yeah. I think wasn't that you know that soft on demand that Japanese porn site that made its stuff free. I think. That's oh yeah, a, yeah. I think that's actually. A no time. way. I know. I need to Google it, but I think actually, let's Google it on this screen so yeah, they can't see. Uh, but I do think it is actually a, an animation what, studio. What's it called? Soft on demand. I think. Soft it is. on demand. I think that is it. Yeah. So yeah, games. Gaming is good. There are hentai games. Soft on demand. That's our sixty-nine. Uh, the, we could do a hentai game. Oh, I'm down for that. <laughs> Uh, One Piece is amazing. Says, Sam is a man of fine and distinguished tastes. Uh, I hate Naruto's ending. Agree. I'm going to be bashing One Piece during my Last of Us 2 stream because of you. Heck you. Okay, it seems like it's actually oh, real no, women. Yeah, it seems, okay. Yeah. There's okay, the cool. occasional illustration, but it's just Japan, you know? Yeah, that is Japan. No, okay. I think it's jet real women. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm we okay may have that. to do some further Googling for, for research. Yeah, I'll, we'll Google separately. Sam's right. at home, One yeah, Piece, yeah. and okay. This is the last word, and I promise I won't talk more anime. Okay. No word of a lie. One Piece, in my opinion, may be one of the best stories a person's ever come up with, told by, in my opinion, no joke, 
the greatest storyteller for this type of story the spe our species ever known. Now I will say, My Hero Academia has actually done really well. As a storytelling device, it's more complete. So like the girls, for example, have they act like girls, like Uraraka's weird romance with um, mm -hmm. with Midoriya. It's very true to life. She's confused. She gives all these misleading signals. It's very true. They yeah. act like in One Piece, the girls, the, the female characters, aren't particularly girly. They just happen to be female. And, and he's not trying to tell love stories and stuff like that. Mm. Barring that aspect of storytelling, I think One Piece might, may be one of the best stories ever told by the greatest storyteller. And I'm not joking. I really mean that. So there you go. On one final piece while we close out this okay. whole anime okay. thing. There is the problem, though, is that you are the Sheps of conversations. That is a means solid your, point. Your points, they're like George. I'm or, like Gerg. Uh, oh, my God. Woo! Awful. Anything you say, just... Jess. <laughs> Jess is like, Sheps, please, stop. Just stop. Just stop. No more. He does <laughs> right, we're well, stopping he, now, yeah? He, exactly. Sam, yeah. Sam understands. Mm -hmm. Sam um, is, is a man of fine and distinguished tastes. Jess, unfortunately... Uh, Wes, <laughs> how do you ban people on YouTube again? Yeah, just click on that button just, right just click there. click it. Yeah, Let me yeah. I'm going to time him out. Time out. No, no, not Jess. <laughs> <laughs> not Jess. Okay, all right. All right, guys. So, are there any final topics? Um, as I said, you guys should all write into our Discord server on the podcast section, the channel. Yeah. Um, we're going to be talking all about that, hopefully tomorrow anyway. We we're going to be we doing will. something, and you guys can see that soon. Um, it's going to be awesome. Hopefully, you guys... I think we've... Are we pretty much done here, do you think? Or do you think we should go for a little bit longer? Yeah, I, I think... I mean, do you want to do some gaming? We could do some gaming. We could... Do I mean, I'm here, and it's still ru basically rush hour. I could kill half an hour jamming some It's still basically... Uh, I'm okay, boys, does anybody want to see some gaming? We did some PlayStation stuff. If anybody really cares, because it's all him that has to say up, I don't care, <laughs> then maybe we could. 900 episodes can only be so good. You, minus the filler. Same with Naruto. Naruto's pretty good, but even the non-filler stuff at the end, dude forgets his rules. It doesn't mm. make sense. He loses the... Like, that, the early stuff with, like, Zabuza and the, the Jet Genin exam, where everybody's thinking about their moves, and it's not who's just got the biggest... Anyway... It's good stuff. I was like, well, and that early Naruto <laughs> is is great shit. All right, people want some gaming. What should we play? What, what should we, we play? play, boys? Let's do Doom Eternal. <clears throat> I wish. I wish. Okay. Oh god, the the leg right there. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> stop it. Oh uh, yeah. Look, look. We're doing some gaming. I have nothing better to do, so I'm up. All right, we'll do some gaming, man. Let's let's do some gaming. Yeah. Let's download. There is actually a One Piece mobile game. Let's get that going. Actually, no joke. My brother's been playing the heck out of this One Piece mobile game. He's in like the top few thousand on the game. He's really yeah. good. And apparently one of the best guys on the whole thing uh, is called Pornhub. And I, was, <laughs> I looked over and I was like, is that guy called... I was like, who's Pornhub? And he, Hold he, on. I literally, I literally, and this is no joke. So I look over and he goes, I go, is that guy called uh, Pornhub? Who's Pornhub? And he looked at me and goes, everybody knows Pornhub. Solid point, everybody <laughs> does. I misheard what you said for a second there. You, I thought you said... Um, I was looking over at my brother and he was playing Pornhub. He was playing the One Piece game and the guy in it was called Pornhub. I was like, wait a minute. He, what? <laughs> what, do, what are we going to jam, boys? So some people were saying the Modern Warfare thing. Play yeah, God, Modern I... Warfare. I've got the Modern Warfare Warzone thing if you want to play. Yeah, fuck it. Let's play. Let's still, play. So let's, let's go there. It's basically... Wait, is it a separate game? Yeah, it's like Then why did I have that 80 gigabyte uh, download? That's what stopped me. That's why I gave the game back. Well, this... I would have gone to the multiplayer, but I was like, I'm not going to... This is their Battle Royale thing and whatnot. Why is so hold on to Higgs that. or whatever? No, Higgins it's a ghost, bro. It's the new and improved ghost. New and improved, there was only one ghost. Yeah, it's true. I need to do some tweaking Please over ships. here. What did I even say, Jas? Don't come at me with that. You started talking about anime again. That's what Oh, I did I? <laughs> oh, I, said, I even said, no, I'll stop. Jas, Jeps mentioned anime, so I can't stop. My bad. All right, give me a second while I sort out some settings, guys, and we can go right into this. <laughs> uh, I tried the One Piece mobile game. It was I. I stopped after a bit. Yeah, like I said, it, it's not my thing. I don't like mobile gaming. My brother really digs them for some reason because he's not a true gamer, oh, and he's doing really good at that. I even said he should figure out how to stream it on Twitch because I think he's in the top... I don't know how many people are playing, but I know he's easily in the top 10,000, uh, which is pretty good, like... If you guys have ever got into the, a top group or something, like I back in Overwatch, I was one of the only people that had that uh, the floor is lava thing. It felt hey, good. Hey, subscriber, Mr. Oh, Geek, oh, my oh. guy. Thanks for subscribing. By the way, is the two of us? See this thing. Oh, my inner weeb is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Shep's given up on Modern Warfare? Yeah, so we got to that. We 
Everybody said play the campaign. It's really good. It was really good. Oh, these are the backlog of subscribers oh that we got God. in this stream. So it's just going to keep going until we get something. Sorry, guys. We might get our dono notifications as well on here as well. Um, so yeah, everybody said play the play the um, the campaign, and I was down to do that. Did it, and we had this bug even after restarting where it, it was telling me to kill all the enemies, and they wouldn't load in, so we got stuck. I would have jumped on the on the multiplayer, but um, update completed successfully. Great, but you know Call of Duty, it's like when you go in, oh, it needs an update, and then it restarts straight away. Yeah, Modern Warfare campaign broke me for sure. Let me know, guys, if you can hear the audio properly. Obviously, I haven't had time to check this and stuff like that, so you guys are going to have to be the ones that um, that help me out here. Yeah, and like I said, I would have gone to the... Um, I would have gone to the, whatchamacallit, the multiplayer, but the the patch was like 100 gigs or something. For oh, yeah, hour. it was 80 gig, but fuck that. And I was just like, do you know what? I don't even care. The game, like, if the campaign won't even work, why am I going to purchase Modern Warfare? Okay, just said the audio is fucked, but that's before, so let me know what it's like now. Why does it want us to purchase more more? No, no, it gives you the option because it's, cool. it's a free-to-play thing, so they want to entice you Oh, to is it free-to-play? Yeah, you can just download it. This How big is this? I think it's like 100 gigs. Frick that. Yeah. Weapons, what's our edit? Just, just before you go in any second, let me no. just sort out this audio because everyone's saying that there's a static noise. Yeah. Alright, alright. It sounds like 1994. It sounds like Dad's got the big VHS camcorder. We're going to fix the audio, let boys. Me know if, let me know if that's okay. Seems okay now. Let me know if that's uh, that's all right. I don't have that Naruto game. Just saying. Let me also bring it up on my phone and I can check to see what the audio is like. I see all the big streamers playing it, but they always go to the next big... Um, the next big Battle Royale. Battle Royale, right? and then they'll be back on Fortnite by tomorrow. Oh, there is an audio... Ooh. This is okay for us. Yeah, okay, there's um give me a second. I'm gonna blads. stop I'm gonna stop messing with stuff. Yeah, um go to the main things because that's when the audio is it sounds like Pong. Ooh. Alright, give me a second, lads. <clears throat> it's still fricked. Bruh, unplug the HDMI. Oh, that might be a shout actually from the um from the actual game capture. I think thou art correct. That's deep in my setup, so we're gonna have to go into the oh my days. Into the settings here, lads. I'm actually upside down like a mechanic. He is upside down. <laughs> you play mechanic simulator, it's basically the same thing. Same thing. By the way, I'm digging your, your background. Thank I you. was digging your background till the HDMI came out. Oh, it's um it's a thing. Uh, you can't get it unfortunately. It was exclusive to the trophy hunters. <laughs> I had to sign up for trophy hunting. I just don't I see it every now and again, like actually pretty much every time I go on Twitter, you've got a new trophy. It's normally like a bronze, it's like you've completed just, yeah. but the fact that you have that link to your Twitter is ridiculous. <laughs> I need people to know. <clears throat> All right, guys, I've set it up again. It's not obvious to me until I hear it um, coming through the, the stream again. So you guys can let me know and I'll listen as well. We're just using this. Oh, it's happening again. Are we still... One What's second, going on? The audio is... Um... Oh, I hear it. Like crackling. Give me a second. This is the first tech issues. See, normally the stream hasn't started, so you boys don't see this. Exactly. I've unplugged it and put it in again. Let's see what happens there. It's not our audio, it's not the mic. No, it's not the mic. I blame Diogo too. So I won't start a game then. Is Diogo even oh. here? Perfect. We're on. We're, we're on. done, ladies and gents. Right, get What's right plunder? Collect game. as much cash as you can, loot and kill. Boys, what are we supposed to battle, battle royale? Just go to battle royale. Yeah, go to uh, yeah, go to battle royale. Right, okay, cool, cool. You get put in a. Oh wait, 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 we gotta do the most important thing. Tactical no, layout. don't do that to me. In Air See airplanes only. Right, so that's where it should be. Part time, look, idiot. Part time fighter pilot, fighter pilot. You're welcome. Don't heckin' at me. 
I've never played. So I actually haven't played the, any the, of Modern Warfare Online. The so. worst part is, is that we've had a couple of people who have bought the inverted like a fighter pilot T-shirt from our legends. store. I can't believe. I was they're like, legends. I'm gonna make this so you look like a loser. <laughs> Stop watching your own stream, you loser. Sorry, I was just listening to the audio. Okay. Boys, let us know if, if the audio is fixed. Yeah, there we go. Sorted now. Yeah, there you fixed. go, Dan. Lovely. Good. What is Thank this? Thank you, bro, so much for sticking by. It's just giving you things. So there's these loot boxes. Do you know what I hate there. about this? Is that we're going to do terribly, no matter how good we are at the gaming, because everybody else has been playing it for days and they know what a good gun and what a good practice. setup. We'll be deploying soon. This is the beginning of the yeah. You can shoot each other in this Okay, so. Oh, if you double tap it, it's dead. Murder, death, kill. Oh. Ah! 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 No, how do I put armor on this guy? <laughs> we do love an inverted debate. It's not a debate. They're idiots. How do you do the armor plate thing? Uh, hold down triangle. Hold down triangle. Okay. Alright. You gotta have armor plates, though. I don't know if you have any. Okay, let's just. So uh, again, expecting. let me know how the stream's looking and whatnot. Look, even though I've plugged in the... This is a different gap. Yeah, a different why? Gap. Why? Because it's the start of the intro. Like, oof. You know how like in a battle royale you don't get a gun when you start off? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is just giving you a gun to make this bit so interesting. Where was the guy shooting me? Also, 150 players in this battle royale. That is ridiculous. That's man. fucking ridiculous, right? What, what guy is this? It's not good. Oh, shit. I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up. What did you do? No, it's okay. I didn't fuck up. It's okay. Practice Press is over. It's a real oh, fight we got a shotgun. Oh, it's the Olympia. Hells yeah. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I got an Olympia one time and it had a four times stoker. And I was like, perfect. What is that? What? Perfect. <laughs> Black Ops 5 is 300 gigabytes. See, this is the thing. No joke. I think Cyberpunk, with everything done, when we get the next gen upgrades for the graphics and stuff. No joke. I reckon it's like... 150, 160. Yeah. I really think it's going to be that big. Fuck man, I wish I could have flexed the 60 frames per second fast. in this screen because I, I did it to 30 because we were just watching a video. I didn't actually, just for the record, Sam, I didn't know oh. the parachute was coming. I was just pressing buttons. <laughs> so, so you can jump. jump. <clears throat> so can you just jump straight into the ground? Uh, no, it doesn't. Give me the scar, hells yes. Audio is a bit loud, I can pull that down. Thank you for letting me know, Jen. Oh, frick. Yeah, I can see that was a bit loud. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. There you go, it should be better. This guy had armor, I had nothing. I mean, against the armor. I'm not good. Capture? Prisoner of the war zone, captured. Yeah, so you get captured and you get to fight Skip to, to bring your way back in. So in Wait, a second, so it's basically it's more than it, you, okay, Right now, you're going to fight up against that one guy. You need to kill him before he kills you. You have limited ammo. It's time. Break something. Only get one shot. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there we go. Get and then you get back wrecked. into the game by doing that. So it's more than 150 then. I mean, it's 150 people that join but in. It can but be this... refreshed, yeah. Okay. Second shot. No more chances. I... After this, no more, yeah. Oh, these are my teammates, so let's drop on these fools. Let me know what the audio is like now, because I've adjusted it, D. Is, oh, heck. I genuinely can't believe that Cyberpunk as a game exists. It's going to be peak immersion. It's going to be sick. Uh, hopefully it'll be I'm going to play the frick out of it. People right around the corner. Oh, oh no! No! Okay, you're being, we you're being fucked. But your friends are around. They might get you back. I got one kill, and it was in the ridiculousness. And this is why I would have rather just played the normal COD thing, because I know how to play COD. I don't know how to, I'm not really a Fortnite. No, not a, Fortnite, a Battle Royale guy. Here you go, bro. Should we kick? Or do yeah, they, let's can they res you? No, they, they can buy you back in. So they pick up money and then they can go to a buy station a bit like in um, uh, Apex. Yeah, 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 those, yeah. Those points and whatnot. <clears throat> Let's do a little bit of gaming. I genuinely can't we? believe that Cyberpunk as a game exists. It's going to be, it, dude. It's going to be amazing. The I think it's going to be huge. The audio is all right now. Okay, good, 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 good. good. I just worry that they're going to make it too big. Like I would rather have a game that was forty to fifty hours long and have 
eight completely different ways or 15 completely different ways to play it than a game that was 500 hours long. Mm. I just don't want that. I'd rather go in and play it as like the brute kind of guy and then come back in and go the full tech guy. Yeah. And that's a mix between a guy that's an assassin and that's a war, you know, like, like, that's like the way, Skyrim. That's the way I think it's going to be for um, Cyberpunk. And I'm looking forward to yeah. that. I really am looking forward and to like, it. Look, I want it where if I just randomize my characters each time, if one guy's like specifically always going to give like a black woman a hard time and yeah. I random, I want when I play as a black chick that's a tech guy, mm. I want that character to be a knob. Yeah. Whereas if I play as like a, a, a tatted up roid head monster dude, yeah. like maybe he respects and gives me a better deal. I want it to be completely different every <clears throat> single time, you know, that's what I want. It's asking for a lot. For yeah, lot. fuck them. <laughs> Get back on your crunch timetables. Max says, <laughs> Max says, eh, could have been a better start, but at least you got one kill. True. True. I was going to say I have a, a break even KD, but I died twice. There you go. <laughs> Honestly, I've had to skip out on most games this year because I bought the 260. <sighs> Ooh. It was a. Oh, and I'm the guy that buys all the. Um... I was this close to getting the Doom Eternal one, though. And I am actually regretting not doing it. But I know that if I did it, I'd be regretting spending the money. Yeah. But I I really want it. But Cyberpunk will definitely be the game I buy after Final Fantasy It's the only Seven. game, other than Doom, it's actually the only game I'm looking forward to. No tell a lie. Last of Us 2 as well. I'm actually scared for Last of Us 2, though. I'm worried that it won't live up to, to what I have in my head. It's got big hype. It's got big hype. Oh my god, it's inverted. You're what welcome. is this hell I'm in? I, I just looked down and it fucking went up. <laughs> kind of nonsense. It's like that? using your mouse. Except it doesn't make sense. Murder this fool. Reload. Why did you give me an LMG? With like five bullets. Hey, how's it going? John McClane. Where did he go? Behind the wall. Oh, did he? Ah! 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 Oh, I'm, I'm alive. Mate, you're the manliest gamer I've ever known. I know. There's got to be a way to get up here. What? That's so cheeky. Mate, I'm a, I'm a legend right here. Get that down. Ooh, lag. that's some lag. Yeah, that was some that's laggage. Some lag. <clears throat> we dropped muchos frames. Let's see. I'm glad that Cyberpunk got delayed coming out close to my birthday. Noise. Eddie Cameron. <clears throat> the only reason I bought Final Fantasy VII Collector's Edition is because I played the original almost 10 years ago and it's the first I it's the first, first game, game I ever played. Yeah. Oh really? <clears throat> so sentimental. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy VII is great. It is really good and especially with the I forgot just how bad it's the golden eye effect, right? I forgot just how bad it did actually look. That said, Final Fantasy IX, which again I played recently on my PS4, still looks surprisingly good. At least the cutscenes look really good. Really good. Considering it's a PlayStation 1, goddamn. <clears throat> yeah, I have no idea what's a good area. Jump or arm the squad leader? Okay. Play parachute. I guess you're going for the second one then. Ah! Oh no! Get the thing. Oh shit, you got a drone. Nice. Yeah, oh, buy the, get the drone thingy. And then you need to get off this hacking roof. Just drop, yeah, dust. See what we got. Ammunitions? Moonays? Ammunitions? Do you have like an inventory in this where it fills up? Or is it just unlimited ammo? No, you just hold whatever you I want. I think ammo is unlimited, but um, I haven't played enough. Like it's not going to weigh you down or anything or use up your inventory? No, not the ammo at least. Cool, 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 cool. Couple Take of Gataroos. Why is what's the color scheme in this? What's best? Uh, like orange is best. It's, all, it's very logical. You yeah, look yeah. at it and you're like, oh, this is the gun. This is the gun I need. I'm going to stick with this. I'm not going to go for a basic scar. Oh, right, right, because it was grey with you. Cool. Yeah. That's what I got and got murdered with before. <clears throat> Max, I've been wanting The Last of Us 2 since the credits rolled 
on one all those years ago, yeah. Yeah. And in certain aspects, perhaps, won't be everything I want, but I've kept my expectations reasonable. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm just... I'm coming to save you. I think... Yeah. Oh! The thing that made The Last of Us too great was the father-daughter aspect of Joel and Ellie. He's in there. And I'm just worried that that won't be there. Or that they won't... I'm, I worry that they won't make Ellie damaged enough. But she and should that, be. Have you seen the second season of Altered Carbon? Not yet. I'm rewatching so, the first season to get hyped I'm, for it. It's a little bit disappointing. Oh, but you're... I, I don't... Yeah, not, yeah. Not, I'm not, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it is a little bit disappointing for a couple of reasons. And one, by the way, uh, Anthony Mackie, he's he's really good. Yeah. He's not as good as Joel Kinnaman, but I think Joel Kinnaman, they hit the nail on the freaking head with that guy. They never should have... Um, Started off with him. Yeah. It? Um, But... He's great. Poe's good, but the um, yes, that's what we need. The um, the real issue is that the the female characters they don't really have any problems. Like if you think about Ortega, she's a deeply damaged person, right? She's yeah. she's a workaholic. She's she's really focused on um, getting whatever her boyfriend's name back. Yes, you know yeah. she's she breaks the rules all the time. Like she's a damaged individual, right? But at her core, she's a good person. You know, like ultimately she's a good person, but she she does a lot of like kind of shady shit. Yeah, definitely. Right? She's damaged. She she she's flawed and makes all these mistakes and stuff, right? And does things that are kind of like not unfair, but you know, she goes after people. She has grudges and stuff. And in this one, most of the characters are, are like too pure in a way. I get you. And they, I don't know. <gasps> nice. Get all the things. Oh, it's not the baddie. Right. It's, it's purple. I'll, I'll switch the that for yeah, that. Yeah, the baddie. Nice. So that's that's why I think it wasn't as good. What is that scope? Deployable cover. Yeah, fucking look at that. So I'm late on these comments. Uh, so basically, I, I hope that Ellie is flawed enough, and her relationship with Joel isn't just Joel being a knob. You know, like I hope she's as much to blame for whatever separation they've had, because um, that will make the the, um, the them healing those wounds so much more um, satisfying. It wasn't the first game I ever played. That was Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum was such a good game. Uh, it's Naughty Dog. They very rarely make me do. Yeah, true. I think it's me. I've set my my expectations too high. Not gonna lie, Last of Us is a story I never th thought needed a sequel of any. I I tend to agree, although I want the Last of Us two. I think the Last of Us could have happily ended there and been fine. Um, it is often better to leave people wanting more than give them something and it isn't you know doesn't measure up. Oh, come on, I had all them headshots. Ouch. That is all shit right that there. Sucks. Kill the dude in your thing. I had all them headshots, man. Um, when you're jumping on Discord, when you're jumping on Discord call with the broskies, Ed. What's that, bro? Ed Nate Lawrence wants to know. You're ready. When you're jumping on Discord call with I the broskies. You know what? I want to make like a, a Discord call where we all just jump in and just chat I'm shit. Down. It will be a bro fest, but I love I'm it. I'm going to do it. I love it. Uh, Sam said he, gen he genuinely doesn't want to know what happens after the ending. I kind of agree. Sometimes you just need to leave it up to people's imaginations. The Last of Us was the first game that really blew me away in terms of story. Like, I loved and enjoyed games before that. But my love of games was changed by it. I agree. Moist. Other side. Yep. Yeah. Eagle sounds meaty. Oh, oh, they got me with a grenade! No. That grenade just appeared out of nowhere. Correct. Oh, he cooked it. He cooked it. Yeah. Beautiful. It was a good get. Good shot. Nice. He outplayed nice. me. He outplayed me. Uh, having played so many incredible games since then, it's unlikely it'll have the effect. Do you want to... Can you put it to the thing? I'm just going to read this. Oncom Season 2 is just shit, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's okay, and I enjoy that idea. But, so Rob, who's a friend of the show, he's read all the books, or at least a few of them, and he said this one... Um, Pose like Daryl in The in the Walking Dead didn't exist in the books. They'd made him up for the show. Mm. Um, so, one, he's like, a, you know, he doesn't vibe with Poe. That's fine. He gets the books. But he said the book was way better... Um, than the uh, than the show made this section to be. Um, yeah, all to carbon season one was just special, and they got everything right. The characters are quite one dimensional in comparison. Agreed. Then characters need to be flawed, 
and this is my worry with Ellie, is that they're going to make her just the strong, independent woman that don't need no man, and Joel's going to be the dickhead that fucked everything up, right? I, think, I don't think they're going to... I don't I see hope that. Not. I, I hope don't not. see that. I, especially I from, from what I've seen but from I'm, what they've shown. I'm just worried, be. because we're seven years on, mm-hmm. and they're developers in California, and that's the way everything's sort of headed, and that's how you make bad stories, right? I get that. You, like, characters... Every character needs to have flaws. Like, Bruce Wayne and Batman, they're flawed. Superman and Clark Kent, they have flaws, right? Mm. Everybody's got something. Um, and even if their flaw is that they're too good, you know, like, sometimes Superman won't make the hard calls. He mm. won't do the hard decisions, yeah. and that's a flaw in some sense. You know, if you're if you're dealing with, like, a dark side or something, sometimes you're going to have to make a hard call, right? Yeah. This was a scuffed landing. That was awful. I think you have to change it to non-gay mode. Non-gay. Cool. Okay, non-gay cool. mode. Oh shit, I'm, I'm set the wrong way around. The gay mode. <laughs> Where are these guys at? I saw a... Can I jump over that? No, I can't. Of course I can't. Where are these guys at? I'm seeing these dots and I... No one's about. There you go. Oh, mate. My aim sucks. Yes, it does. Need to reload. It's so weird playing without a headset. I think Ellie is going to find out about Joel, what Joel did at the end of The Last of Us 1. Uh, she's going to completely overreact and fuck shit up. I don't think she is going to do that, you know. I think, um, I don't think she's going to find out Come on. for a while. And I think that's going to be one of the things that Joel and Ellie have to go through. And then it's going to be this moment where they meet and it's like, oh my God, you're back. I can't believe it. And then it's going to be like, wait, you did what? And then they're going to come together at the end. And I think Joel probably die that at the end sick. after that. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, this gun's not good. It's not. The real fight begins now. I mean, no one likes perfect characters. The thing is, perfect characters are boring. Yep. Good thing Superman has flaws. <laughs> he does. Like he has no character. He's allergic to rocks. If it's okay, I'm going to have to make this the last game and then the jam stream right there. You sure? Yeah, yeah, jam right, cool. Although, put it on uh, game mode. On non-game mode, here we come. There uh, we go. Yeah, we're going to make this the last game, lads, and then we're going to yeah, head I, off. I didn't even look at the time. I need to cut soon as well. Jump in the stadium. Frick it. Yeah, go on. Frick it. Oh wait, it's not got an open roof. What? Pretty gay. Jump in the... Are you sure? Yeah, it looks like a thing. Okay. Parking lot is. How did that guy get so ah, much love? Ah, oh, my ah, days. There's people, there's people. Oh, my days. There's people there. I'm going to hope there's a gun in here it's or gonna something It's going to be a like nice, that. quick game. <laughs> there's no gun in there. Any guns around here? And you're going... The... Oh, no. Not into the open field. No! Don't go into the long grass. We need to do Jurassic Park for. Uh... Actually, I was thinking about some random standalone bangers, like some like true cinema type films that we could watch for Movie Club. They're yeah. like totally different from the Marvel type stuff we've been watching. You know, what I mean, superhero stuff. Yeah. Is that Betty. Betty's back. Yeah, Betty's back. Hi. Get a flashbang. Get some cash. Someone just left in their attic. Is oh, it something? Yes. This is where you buy shit. You don't Although have any have... money. No money. Ezio is perfectly flawed character. No, just, Ezio's just a flawed character. He's not good. That, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Mainly because yeah. he's in the wrong game franchise. You know, that's a big problem. Yeah, if he wasn't in Assassin's Creed, that would be the, the thing right there. I could see, for the record, boys, still everybody talking about The Last of Us. I could see that being the reason they've separated. The only thing with that, if um, Ellie's sort of left Joel because she found out what he did, <gasps> noise. Epic great. Then the thing is... And I've got a UAV. Because, they, okay, look, Ellie's gay. Cool, no one cares. Right? It doesn't bother me. It's her character, right? But if your beef with somebody is that, you know, they you could have found a cure, and, like, you, you'd you have to try and have a kid. Yeah. Like, that's her next step. If she's really bothered by Joel um, not sacrificing her life to maybe find a cure to like, save the world, she's got to have a kid. Because if she's immune, then... You know, built. You have to start this up for the good of mankind. Right, exactly. So if it's that big a deal to her, then it kind of fundamentally changed her character. Maybe she's gay, but she's gonna have to have a kid, right? Yeah. So 
procreation. Exactly. So that, you. and I, I don't want, I don't want Ellie's main thing to be, I have to have a kid, right? So, I mean, maybe her motivation is trying to find scientists that can do what Joel stopped. Does that make sense? You know, that can do the brain lobotomy thing, thing, and yeah. I don't know. How's the game mode? So we're not really. Uh... So it, it reminds me a lot of the battle for the uh, the COD the Black Ops Three one, which <clears throat> I didn't really vibe with. I yeah. like it. Apex is good fun. It was it called Blackout? I think it was. Yeah, I didn't like Blackout. Apex is fun. Um, Fortnite's okay. I don't really vibe with the with the COD versions personally. I think you've already been here. Maybe it was already open. Ah, what I do? Someone just punch you. I think I bumped into a wall. Okay, okay. So it makes guys. sense that she would leave if she knew that because that was literally her only purpose in life. Yeah, exactly. But then again, if that's been stopped, then the next logical thing is have a kid. You, do you know what I mean? Like, and I don't want that to be her motivation. She's she's more than just like a baby maker, if that makes sense. So, or maybe if her thing is they found out there's a dude that's doing it, that that's a. Uh, they hear a rumor that a guy was bit and didn't turn. Then if she's going to go and have a kid with him, hmm. that might be a good. That might be good. That's an yeah. adventure chest across the country for it. That that could work. Your teammate has failed. Um, let's see. But those letters didn't it say that they had done other tests and they failed? No, I think, and I haven't played it in a while. I think the letters said that they had tried to find cures and the other things had failed, but the other people weren't like Ellie. Ellie was the only confirmed uh, case of somebody getting bitten and not turning. I think that's the, the big deal, if I'm remembering everything correctly. Um, hey man, look, it wouldn't have made a difference. Ellie is big up stupid. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> I like her. From the very first moment, I really disliked her until that first guard stops you when you come out of that pipe and she just shanks him. And I yeah. fell in love with the character. I was just like, this chick is down to stab a guy over this. Like, uh, cool. DG. She's she's solid. Yeah. You know, and I, I instantly knew this character was great. Um, yeah, so technically Joel didn't lie. I suppose... See, this is the thing. If Joel didn't lie or he wasn't wrong, that would be even better. I quite enjoy characters where they're not wrong. It's like Stain from My Hero Academia. Not to get to anime. He's not wrong... But the way he's going about it is wrong, you know? And I like where the, the villain and the hero, neither one's really wrong, but they're also not exactly right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where their roles, those same people in the same situations could so easily be the other person. That's that's how you make great characters, you know? And real tension because you're like, well, actually, this guy has a point. He might not be wrong. You know, it might not be the decision you, make, you would make or you would want to make. But if it's like in there, if it's in that range, that's how you make great Great story. Peas on, okay. V pod man. Um, the story would not go well without feminists saying Ellie should be more than a baby make. Frick it again. I think it's I think it's fine if she's going to find a, a dude that apparently is is immune and she has to cross the country, which as we know is dangerous. Cool, that's fine. She would have to have a kid with the other immune guy because in theory, if she banged a the guy. Um, they would get infected and die. Dude, if that was the thing, if maybe she tried and the guy got infected. Ooh. Mate, this, so like... Oh shit, been hit, been hit. Anyway. Ellie is amazing. She's such a great depiction of a child. You're gonna die in here. I absolutely love everything in The Last Woo! of Us. The, the story, the the like the, the unwanting parent to child dynamic, plus like the moody teenager, but having to be way more mature. I don't know, man. I, I just dig everything about it and the fact that, you know, you sneak off and, and steal comic books and stuff because you didn't really get that growing up. Ellie's done brilliantly in the last... Everything in the last one's us one is perfect, except the gameplay. The gameplay, ironically, is very basic. There's four enemies. That's it. And not very many... No real puzzle mechanics, but it's a story. It's a story that you happen to be in control of as it goes. Imagine The Last of Us as an anime. Oh, my days. Oh, this guy's gone. Did I, did I, I shared on uh, Twitter the uh, the Star Wars if it was an anime video. That, that slapped, so, you know. The Last of Us as an anime, that would that would be a banger. Just no fan service, but gross. 
Star Wars fan service. I was actually about to say, because, you know, it's sort of like High School of the Dead, which is a zombie thing, but it's all fan service. I, I really dislike it, to be honest. You're going to have to. I know, right? It's a fucking... Get it. It's a hand cannon. Hells yeah. Um, Let's see. So, plus... Ultra? Even if the... <laughs> <laughs> even if the Fireflies did get a cure, do you think the current military would accept this cure, given that the Fireflies are terrorists? I think if you're if it's defeat the zombie apocalypse, the cure's gonna would probably get out. Maybe I don't know. It's tough to say. Victor said, "I mean, David wasn't wrong in winter. They were just surviving, by e but eating people. Sure, it's the apocalypse. But now I I feel you with that. Um, how would they distribute the cure? It depends what the cures, how it works, right? If you can inhale it, you just throw some gas bombs of cure into you know places." What is Maybe saying? it's an injection, you just start injecting, you know, who knows? Um, because, like, Ellie's literally a walking death trap if she has the fungus. Yeah, I see what you're saying. If she's like a carrier, but she herself is immune, like, well, that's a real thing that happens in diseases. Oh, no! Oh, my God, he Mate, was you underneath! Got sandwich. That's not, that's just bad. Oh. That's just bad luck, because even if you'd have turned, you'd have got. There's always a guy behind you in card. Yeah. Always. It's the rules. Do you know what it is? The guy Look at this tagged, guy acting like he's... The guy tagged underneath the thing, but I didn't know if he couldn't see beyond the, the yeah. structure. And I was like, oh, what's going on? Anyway. Uh, I love the gameplay. Anime, it's all weird. <laughs> yeah, the three-minute fan-made Star Wars thing. Yeah, it's great. And the gameplay, look, the ga it's a good game, but the fact is there are four enemies, you know? And one boss, you know, that uh, bloater thing. What? That was unfulfilling. Shut your mouth, bro. Um, how would fan service even work in the Last of Us anime without it being Peter Villa? It's Japan, man, anime. Um, it's always with you. Yeah, I agree. Plus, there's there's grown characters. You know, there's uh, what's the person that helps Joel in the beginning? What's her name? Claire. Yeah, I think it was. It's time to break something. Really glad that you two are streaming today. Being in how oh, are you in quarantine, D? Oh no, I thought it was to the side, but I think it's this side. Oh! What? Oh he was capturing the flag and I was so close to capping him. I thought you I thought you got him. I thought I got him. Alright, that's the end of that, lads. Thank you so much for joining us for this stream. It's been absolutely fantastic to get into this new gen with you, bros. Yeah, buddy. And thank you for sticking around as well for the gaming as well. Yes, indeed. Uh, we will see you guys soonish for when we talk about all this information and the Xbox information all in one and like in a podcast or whatever. And we'll see you guys this weekend as well for more awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm I might sure stream I'm some Doom tomorrow as well. Do that shit. Do that so. shit, bro. All right. Um, we'll see you guys later, bro. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging, boys. And remember to send in questions as well to Discord. Yep. Tess. It's Tess, not Claire. Why did I think Claire? Terrible. You're awful. Are you even a real gamer? Claire's from uh, a totally different franchise as I'm well. I'm going to take your true gamer away Damn from it. you guys right there. Good thing That's I didn't wear that t-shirt. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. See you one. on the Discord. See you, bros. Later, boys. Awkward pause. Awkward pause. I forget that there's two buttons to end the stream. Thanks for hanging.